I am going to introduce you now to uh, the two lads from the Isle of Man, the Outlier Distillery. What is it, Outlier Distillery or Outlier Distilling? Uh, the, 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 the official is Outlier Distilling Company, but uh, we, we, we're fairly lax in days, you'll see. You can call us the Outlier Distillery. We tend to just go by uh, Outlier. Yeah. As you, as you can tell by their accent, they are natives to the Isle of Man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is the guys from Outlier Distilling Company. They have produced these two uh, amazing rums. Uh, and I first found them at uh, London Rum Fest. I got quite excited because I do quite like these rums. But they've also, I don't know what this is. I'm going to crack this out later. They've also sent me some petroleum. So, yes, so that's what's in store. Lads, say hello. Who's who? Put your name up and say your name. Hello, I'm Ian. I make the booze. Um, I do all the, the, the product side, and Rick does literally everything else. <laughs> Hang on, yeah. let's, let's, put these, let's put these on the big screen. There we go. There we go. So, Hi, yeah, I'm, I'm Rick Dacey, and he's Ian Warbord Jones, um, and, and together we are outlier. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we, we formed when did, back in the 19, and the world went bang. Yes, it did. So we actually started in earnest kind of like uh, summer of 2020 coming out of lockdown here. Uh, lockdown in the Isle of Man was a little bit different from everywhere else. It was uh, very much um, either zero or 100 miles per hour. So there was either hardcore lockdowns or you kind of lived um, in, in a, the pub. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the pub like Shutter Island. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was, it, overall, it was a pretty good place to be for, for, for the... Uh, for, with COVID years. So, so let's let's go back to this, the backstory. When did you two start the business? Because this is quite uh, new. So we incorporated it in November 19. Then we took over the cow sheds, um, I think, was it June? Yeah, June, like July June, 2020? June, June 2020. So basically, the, the company really kicked off in June 2020. We ran the first spirit back end of August 2020. Wow. So this is, hang on, where are we? So... We are nearly two years old. Yeah. Distilling. We're, yeah, yeah hang on. Yeah, yeah. Well, it yeah. must be, yeah, the two year anniversary. Wow. So. Okay, so who, who leaves a year old uh, last week? Wow. Boom. So I'll, I'll give you the close up. There you go. That's that's Hooli. We're going to talk about them both. That's the Hooli. That's the uh, 41 percenter. Uh, and this is this this is the Hooligan. <laughs> this is the Hurricane. 64 percenter. There we go. So that, that's the two we're We'll have tasting. to make a Hooligan cocktail. Yes, we will. So what prompted it? What what got you started into rum? Why why start a rum distillery? And why in the Isle of Man when you're both blatantly not from the Isle of Man? <laughs> well, we live here, right? We both moved here for different reasons. I like making booze. But I like doing it properly. And sort of, I don't want to make gin. It's basically making soup, isn't it? Um, <laughs> rum, I can, make, I can make it quite well. I've got a degree in wine making, so I know my way around yeast. So, oh. Yeah. oh, I didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I went to Plumpton. I graduated in 15. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so um, I sort of, you know, dicked around in various wineries and stuff. And I was making gin here a few years ago, but it kind of bores me to tears. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, um, so Rick, what, what, what's your backstory then, Rick? Uh, in, in short, started as a journalist went into uh, publishing, uh, fell into the poker world, was a kind of a borderline degenerate poker player for a while, uh, and then uh, went, went around um, Europe, uh, around uh, reporting on the European Poker Tour, and ended up getting a corporate job in the Isle of Man, working for PokerStars, which is a big online uh, poker site. And from there, uh, had a midlife crisis and met in um, and opened up a rum distillery. I think mean, that's it in a nutshell, really. I love that. I love that. So you two, you two didn't know each other at all, because you're, no, like, no, you're. I was sat next to a lady on a plane once, and she put me in touch with Rick. Yeah, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So, you, it, it was so just... thanks, Katie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, oh, you've got a lot to answer. Yeah. <laughs> So, so Outlier Distilling has always been rum. No, 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 no. no. We make weird stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Rum, rum, yeah rum has, rum's always been the the main thrust and the main plan. Yeah. But it's also been that we wanted to mess around with uh, with like funny little small batches. So we've done um, Hedge Fund, which is a Manx Schnapps. I'll tell you about oh, that. In a minute. I, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah. 
and also uh da, 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 honey bun honey bun thank you well done yeah <laughs> honey bun is uh so my mate makes sort of he calls them country wines he makes traditional method sparkling wines but not from grapes in an old um fisherman's hut in port erin in the south of the island uh foraging yes yeah. yeah. very Check good them out. they're really yeah. cool um he basically gifted me two cages of bottles of honey wine so he ran it smelled like honey right okay cool I aged it in a sauterne barrel for three months and then back sweetened it with spiced honey, which we got um, one of the foragers over here to go and pick some weird roots and yeah. stuff to spice it with. Yeah. It, was so, good, it was good gear. It's yeah. really good gear. But... So, so, yeah, we, we, we gave a lot of Manx influence. So we had Manx honey yeah. and we had Manx wood havens, which are like yeah. a clay. And then we had Manx cinnamon, which is just cinnamon that we bought from a local Shop supermarket. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So not very Manx. Yeah, we but, um, from the island. Yeah. 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 Um, it was really good, but I mean, because we were gifted the base liquor to make the spirit, I mean, trying to replicate that with honey that costs £8 a pound, it's going to yeah. cost 60 quid on your shelf, but I don't know if it's that good. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that so that was excellent, that sold out, and that made a, um, like what what we called a POMS, a grown-up PIMS. So you'd have a, a shot of this uh, uh, Manx honey liqueur, so that's 31, 31%. 31.5. Uh, 31.5, yeah. Uh, every little count, um, and so it was one one part one part honey bun, two parts apple juice, four parts lemonade, and it was that went down very well. Um, but it's it's always been uh, the rum, and so we kind of wanted to test with like small batches to kind of like find our feet and you know all, try and get the processes how we were putting design together, sourcing bottles, uh, you know, and so kind of do that with smaller batches rather and so kind of like do do our learning so this, in a less oh, there we go. It's, um, it's one of the earlier. So it's hedge fund wild berry schnapps. So Rick and I wow. go out for a couple of weeks in the autumn, pick fruit, make a wine, distill it, drink it. Makes an excellent <sighs> sour. I bet it does. Yeah. Um, wow. Need to try some of that. So yeah, so that, that was that, Go on. That was the first thing we, we sold. I think the first year we made 140 20 CL bottles. Yes. All individually wax sealed, which I'm never fucking doing <laughs> again. Um, and that was great. I mean, last year we made 180 50 CL bottles, and this year we should make 500, and, I think. And, and, and we launched it in, uh, was it November or December 2020? Yeah. Um, at a local uh, craft beer bottle shop with a. With a uh, with a boozy pub quiz, so very on brand. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that, that was the schnapps. Yeah, that was the schnapps. schnapps yeah. 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 Wow. Bloody um, hell. So, so, that's, um, so we're, well, you, we try and use different local artists for each label, right? So that's yeah, yeah. Kieran. He's um he's a he's a local dude. He's a good guy. Um, I'm sure he won't mind me saying this bit of a maniac. Um, <laughs> I've um, seen this. This is Karen, isn't it? What's, yeah, what's the name on this head, one? Yeah, Meg. She's um Meg, she's that's local it. artist, does murals, tattoos. She's so fucking cool. Uh, we just love her art. And um yeah, she uh, she allowed us to indulge in a bit of narcissism. That's me and Rick, by the way. Yeah. So, I was gonna say, yeah, just just in case you just in case you guys can't see that. Yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah, coming out. There you go. Painful close up. You can, you can get which one's which look. I'm not listening. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks. Um So come on, so come on in, talk us. Talk us through the rum. Talk us through Hooli to start off with. Like, what's talk us through your still? Yeah, I know there's a couple on here that will get all geeky with questions and and stuff like okay. that. But talk us talk us through your process because this is, in case people haven't cottoned on, this is distilled from scratch. Oh yeah, yeah. We, this don't, is, we don't. This buy is not an e a share job. Yeah, we don't. We don't buy an alcohol from anywhere. We make everything ourselves on site. Um, we are on a farm called Balakelly, right? We're in their old milking shed. Um, there's no gas, no three phase. We've got 150 litres still. It's a small pot with a small column. It's entirely heated with wood. So we take um, trailer loads, four and a half ton loads of um, points and off cuts from the local sawmill, and that's what we burn. And that, we, we are, that is the only source of heat within the building. Trust me, January, it's pretty cold. Um, wow. So yeah, it's um, get in sort of seven in the morning, stoke the fires, get it running. It's a bain marie, so once it's hot, like turning, it's quite easy. We can we can turn it five times a day, uh, pretty easily. Uh, we punch our washes quite high, so we're like you know we, we also do like long ferments, 
I was reading up some of the notes from Rumfest, and apparently most run permits go through in about 36 to 40 hours. I mean, we're talking 10, 10 to 14 days. Um, and then we are we and slow. Low and slow. But <laughs> so, the thing is, I've got, I use a really, really cool yeast. So we punch our wash at uh, 15, 17%. And that's, um, that's the way that we can get a decent enough yield out of a small pot. So, so kind of like without giving too many secrets about, about the yeast, is it kind of home, like how can we, how can we put it? it it's, it's not something you can buy off the shelf, let's put it like that, it, is it? No. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a, it was an experimental yeast um, developed for stuck fermentations, stuck secondaries in, in champagne. So it's, it really, it really loves molasses. You should, you should have said that you just make it in the back of your fridge. Scrape, scrape it <laughs> off the shoulders of the pigs next door. Yeah. No, um, it's, uh, it's a really, really good yeast. Um, we're also quite lucky. All the water we use is from, uh, there's a well in the building. There's, there's a, basically the, the, the farm pumps its own water up from something called the Len Trench. That water we had tested, it's got elevated manganese levels. The yeast love it. So it absolutely rips. Wow. So, yeah. f- ferment your own yeast. Ferment ten. What did you say? Eight to ten days, or ten to twelve days? Ten to fourteen days, usually. Ten, ten to fourteen days to ferment. Yeah, then and we then tend to your... on the leaves for two weeks. So right. I don't know how, how geeky your followers are. Um, so, basically, some of them are all right. When you leave, when you leave the when you leave the yeast in a in a wash or in a wine, you get this you get this process called autolysis. That's when the yeast breaks down. And it imparts interesting characters into the wash. That's what gives the hooli its fun. That's what that's where that's where right. it comes from. Right. Because I don't know whether any of my lot have uh, cracked this out yet. I'm not. I know some of them have already. But th- there is there is that sort. This is the reason I kind of fell in love with this because there is this kind of element of I wouldn't say Jamaican funk or anything like that, but it has got this sort of Manx funk. funk. <laughs> Manx funk. Yeah, that, that's what confused me as well. Because obviously in the UK, we kind of refer to Manchester as Manx as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was like, Manx? <laughs> so so off, you're, you're, you're Manx with an X. But there is this kind of, I don't know, unaged, rawness, funky kind of element to it, which I kind of love. I really do love that on there. So you've got wood fire, pot and column still there. It's a tiny column. It's got three plates. Um, right, okay. It's got, and it's got catalyzer. Right, okay. Um, and how and, and how big litres wise? What are we talking? What's that? How how many litres? What are we talking roughly? 150. 150 litres. So pretty small batches. It's diddy. Tiny man. Yeah, but we um <laughs> It's not like, the size that matters. <laughs> <laughs> what you do with it, right? Um we Yeah, I mean our output is currently we can we can clear about five hundred bottles a week out of it. Um, wow. so it's, it's if, enough for the minute. If, if, yeah. if, if heading to the metal, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> which we sell until, a lot. Yeah. Until, <laughs> until you go global. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've, I've been trying to persuade my wife to come in and do a night shift. So <laughs> we'll see. Oh, hence, hence why you've still got a happy birthday up behind you. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, yeah. that's why I'm hoping to go to London for four days. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So. We, we've got so it's uh, once you've distilled it, uh, rested for a period of time or not really. No. I mean, we um, it's twice distilled. Uh, when it, right, when okay. it comes out the first time, it's really full on, like it's it's intense. So we we distill it again. We collect we collect all the first run, then we distill it again, um, and then we dilute it, and then we carbon filter it. So it goes it goes through through a charcoal filter as well. Right. Um, Basically, it comes out so expressive that the, the name of the game is trying to dial it back. Um, the first time we tried it, I was like, oh, shit, it's amazing. I couldn't taste anything else for the rest of the day. <laughs> you know, and that's, um, yeah, so that, that, that's, that's, we just had to, had to work out how to dial it back with it. I didn't want to distill it again because I'd lose too much of the character because I like it. But it, it just, yeah. it, it polished it. It's really, really smart. Now, I, I've just cottoned on why I kind of like this so much. In my head, I had it. I, I should have stalked. I should have gone on the website and done all that. But in my head, I thought it was a pot still more than anything. Mm. So now that figures because I really do like my column still rums. I, I love the sort of lightness that they kind of bring. And it was, I was kind of just before we went on air, I was kind of having a little sort of side by side of kits, um, nine folds, which is pot still. And I hadn't cottoned on because that is like really in your face and lovely and bold and funky. Whereas this has kind of got that light, but 
sort of, I don't know, marshmallowy kind of finish to it, I guess. Go ahead. How would you know, describe yeah, the tasting notes? I can't, can't quite put my finger on. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of licorice from the molasses. Let me, uh, I'll, go get, I'll go get some glasses. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, go on, crack on. Put, yeah, we, put the coffee away or the cup of tea or whatever you're drinking. Yeah, Rick, what's your, what's your background in rum then? Sorry, Rick, that? what's your what's your background in rum? What's your what's your typical rum drink oh, of choice uh, before this is started? Uh, yeah, can, can, in, enthusiastic consumer. Um, it's uh, uh, yeah, because it, you know it's uh, ex journalist, so we all like to have a drink. Um, so for for my the way I look at it is that Ian and I have have complementary. Uh, uh, backgrounds and skills so it's like ian is a connoisseur and he's going to be sort of saying oh that smells like that smells like uh morning dew picked by a cherub um whereas i'll be like that tastes good how do you drink it so so um we've got a uh, lay, layman and uh, and specialist <laughs> but before you like let's let's take this back to basics before you both started distilling rum right yep. what were your what were your rums of choice what, what did you kind of go for to drink? I I used to drink uh, Mount Gay. Uh, right. Okay. Like so, like you know, nothing. You know, like it was nothing, nothing super, nothing super special. Like just, a, just. A, I mean, it's the most sold rum in the world, pretty much. So yeah, like, exactly. I I, I I I used to just drink a lot of Cuba Libres with Mount Gay. I mean, I used to, I like agricole, so I used to drink a lot of French stuff. Um, right. Okay. But I mean, if I'm if I'm if I'm going to go out and buy myself a bottle of rum for Christmas, I'll buy four square. Right. Okay. So, so I was kind like of trying said, to work out accessible layman specialist. <laughs> I, mean, I, I was trying. I was trying to work out what the sort of influence on that style of rum was, where that sort of came from, because you just, you know, if you're just starting out and distilling, you don't really, in my head, from what I've tasted from UK distillers, you don't really start with that sort of style of rum. It's a very different vibe that you get off white rums or unaged rums, we should say. But it's kind of like trying to get the influence of that. I kind of get that now with your French French agricole kind of cages. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll level with you. I wasn't trying to make a certain style of rum. I was trying to work out what the way I could get the most yield out of that little still. So, you know, that was that was it. And it came out, we, we tried five or six different yeasts, five or six different fermentation techniques, heats, you know, did the whole thing. And then we settled on this one. I was like, do you know what? That's cool. We can do that. So be, being a column still, let's get technical for a second. Being a column still, what's, what's the top whack ABV you take it off? Do you bring uh, it quite low? Sorry, second, sort of second run. Second run, 88. Oh, it's quite high. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's quite interesting because that's almost up at sort of like Bacardi, Flor de Carnia levels. You know, they're taking off at sort of 90, 90%, 92%. Whereas some, yeah, it's, you know... It's, 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 I mean, it's it's a really really good piece of kit we got. I mean, it's made nineteen ninety four. Um, that's, that's a hell of a um, flavour to come off at eighty eight percent. I cut late. Wow. So what's that mean? Cut late. So uh, to explain that. So you get more. What's the word? What's the word? How how can I put this politely? Go on, tell tell us what does cutting late mean? Uh, I um, there's a sweet spot, and it, I, I I stopped still running. Well, I stopped collecting. Uh, at about 40. But it's all done with my nose. So when, when, when it gets down to 40, 40%, we stop, we stop it. Um, right, okay. You get most of the, most of the cool flavours come out between 50 and 40. So. That's delicious. Right, for you lot at home, hopefully you've, uh, you've started drinking this. We're going to do some daiquiris and all that in a second. I want to get some tasting notes. I want to get some feedback off you guys, whether you like it and what you compare it against and all that. There should be quite a few, quite a few of you with this. Uh, and I've noticed uh, Windy was one of the first ones that piped up. I think he said, where'd that come from? Uh, there it is. So the spice is quite interesting. Uh, the spice is further forward on the tongue than I've tasted before. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that's a good thing, Windy. <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? Uh, is anyone else giving us some tasting notes yet? See, Chris. Uh, Chris has put uh, getting cinnamon and earthy notes. We like that. Who else? Claire, didn't you drink yours the other night? Claire, where are you? I want to hear back from that. Here we go. Uh, Decky, rapidly leaving 
We are rapidly leaving Steve's distilling knowledge. What's that mean? Don't know what that means, Decky. <laughs> uh, Get my dust, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first smell was vegetable. I'm just going to call it vegetables. First, sm <laughs> first smell was vegetal. Uh, definitely not floral or grass. So Scott, right, okay, here's some feedback. Scott is a fellow sort of column still lover. Uh, Scott, how are you rating this against sort of pot stills? This is what I'm quite interested in. This is, I kind of get off this. It's like almost on the second palette, you kind of get this like citrusy kind of vibe, which gives mm. you, which I think is the reason why I kind of love it in daiquiri so much. It kind of it lends itself perfectly to a daiquiri for me. Yeah, I mean, I, it's interesting. Over over the, you know, we've had this product a year, and I thought initially when it first came out, I thought it was sort of caramelised pineapple, um, that sort of that sort of that sort of ballpark. But actually, you're right. It it is closer to citrus. Hang on, what's Pam? Pam, I get fruity with a hint of vinegar. Interesting. Do we get vinegar? I, lo I love sort of hearing what other people kind of get yeah. from this. I don't get. I tell you what, I get tasted it. It, it really reminds me of what's those flipping um, marshmallow sweets? I've said it a couple of weeks ago. There was another one. What are those white sort of marshmallowy sweety things called? Oh, yeah, I know the, what you're talking about. Um, flumps. Flumps. Yep. Yeah. Kind of reminds me a little bit of flumps. Yeah. Just on the just on, I don't know. Sort of after a couple of seconds. So I've got this real creamy kind of luscious kind of vibe to it. I like it. Uh, I agree. I get a mild agricole tang. Interesting. Interesting. So when you... Well, so, okay. So, we, are, we are on a working farm, so it's definitely agricultural. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a dunder pit? Have you got a muck pit? No. Using dunder? No. no, no. no. Thankfully not too close. Like, well, it smells like it on some Oh, no. Yeah. We've got the middle around the back. No, it's all right. I was, yeah. was going to say, if you got uh, what are they called, not a cesspit, um, uh, it's called a midden. Waste. On the island, it, yeah, it's called a midden. A midden. Yeah, that's, that's the right. next term. Basically, that's just a big pile of rotting cow shit and pig shit and horse shit. Yeah, right. Yeah. Here, here you go, lads. Here's a here's a big here's a big one for you. So, uh, Scott, my fellow um, column still lover. Uh, you know, so you know the daiquiri video I did, which yeah, yeah, yeah. I still pick Chairman's Reserve. Yeah, there you go. I 100% no, prefer it. I hope you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's really cool. So, okay. So, let, let's talk business here for a second. You kind of, you're distilling like an unaged rum because of, have you, right, hang on a second. We're going, there's so many tangents to go off here. Have you started laying down any rum yet? Have you oh, got yeah, any barrels? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've got you some have? weird barrels for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Well, that's, what, that's, so, what's, in the, that's what's in the hurricane. Yeah, so, so the hurricane is predominantly uh, overproof hooli, but it's then blended with a uh, small amount of rum. Again, that we've made, we make everything, um, but that has been put down in uh, two different barrels. Uh, basically, I, I filled up a filled up uh, an ex Ardbeg sherry butt um, in December <laughs> 2020. Was it 2021? Lost me. 2020. 2020. Yeah. Um, and then yes. Uh, yes, it was. I yes, pumped it, it out uh, beginning of last year into a new American oak, half of it, um, just as right. an experiment. The rum in that is wicked, but I mean, it's not going to get bottled because it needs to go in the hurricane. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo! So, have we, have we got any, if we if we got any B and H at all? Is there like yeah, 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 got, yeah, yeah, there is. New American, yeah. new American oak, Sauternes so barrels. Um, I've got two Chateau de Tour barrels because. Go big or go home, right? Um, oh, look, look at you, uh, the wine geek. <laughs> I got a degree in it, man. I kind of like the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell, you, I tell you, not to go what this this could be quite an interesting conversation. We had the um, um, oh, I forget what it was now, maybe in August, maybe in September. Uh, Sebastian that specializes in just um, Panamanian rum, but yeah. aging in wine casks. You know, that was, that was quite a, a unique kind of proposition. Is that something you're... Well, obviously, with Soto... What was the other one? Soto and some what? Soto and New American Chateau Le Tour barrels. Chateau so, Le Tour, uh, there we go. Yeah, mate. Um, Bloody. I'm, I'm, I'm on the hunt for certain some certain types of cask. I'll, um, I'll, let you, um, I'll let you know if I ever find them. They're pretty fucking hard to find. Wow. <laughs> Chateau yeah. Le Tour's red, am I, if I'm not mistaken. Of course it is, yeah? Damn right, mate. 
Yeah, damn nice, big, heavy, bold red, French red. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. That's, um, that's going to be up a few guard, people. Uh, we would, but the Portman group might have something to say about it. Yeah. So, so instead, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we just have to let Steve come up with a cocktail called the Hooligan. Uh, <laughs> the Hooligan. <laughs> So okay, so maybe, let, let, maybe let, let, with uh, blended flumps, yeah, <laughs> flumps, yeah, the flump daiquiri. So okay, yeah. so let's let's sort of work this through business wise. So twenty twenty, you kind of set up your distillery, uh, you kind of you're getting out there. Let, let's be honest, uh, we'll we'll give the guys over in Douglas a shout out. Um, what's I've oh, flipped out, forgotten the bar now. Uh, Kiki. What's the bar? Kiki's. Kiki. Yeah, uh, the Kiki Lounge. So we we'll give the guys a shout out there, Kiki Lounge, awesome bar. Met them down at the um, the Mai Tai competition in London. They should have won. They were robbed. But how, as a brand in the Isle of Man, like what is your route to market? Like what's what, you know? Because it's pretty small during COVID. Really, like, what's really the just hustling. Yeah. Um, so is it well, is it kind of farmers markets? Is it like how have you got? Um, like, like, how did you was, end up at Rumfest? Over here, really antiquated. Uh, but. Uh, just changing, so changing yeah. for the better. So that, that that is going to make things a lot easier for us. The uh, licensing laws have literally just uh, and the process has been changed yeah. off through Trimwald. Um So so that's good. But uh, no, it, it, it's currently it's uh, we we sell in a couple of um, couple of sort of key off licenses here. So there's uh, white the wine cellar, which have been really good supporters. Initially in uh, Bottle Monkey, we also um, do free delivery on on the island. So it's just Ian and I whipping round on a Friday, uh, doing doing bottle drops to people's doors. So it's not a big island. It's not that hard. Yeah. 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 So uh, you're up, you're sort of northwest, aren't you? Yeah. We're, we're, we are. Yeah. We're about half a mile from the tip of the island. Right. Yeah. Right at the top. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah, and and so there's a couple of other places that we've got in. We're uh, steam steam packet and airport and we're just getting into like the big sort of pub chain here um because the guys that run that are trying to be a bit more sort of supportive of other sort of uh, local producers uh so that was kind of good, good timing for us yeah um, but how do you right, so how, you know, get through the most yeah so how do you right all right okay but how do you end up at Rumfest before your second birthday like how how does all, how does that happen? Because surely you must you must be shifting some weight in rum to kind of think we're going to hit rum fest and we're going to do. Rick's a gambler well. and I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so there's uh, I, I I think I think it's uh, it's it, there's a lot to be said for brazen confidence. Uh, so uh, we just thought ah we 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 go and uh, chance a rum and see see what happens. So. Obviously turned up with massive imposter syndrome because, you know, uh, two guys in a shed, uh, been knocking around for a couple of years and you're sort of, uh, around, you know, heavyweights of the industry. Um, so I think we mostly turned up just hoping that we weren't going to be uh, bullied by the big boys and uh, run out of town. So um, so the fact that we got a very positive reception was... It's also quite excellent. fun to go to London when you live in Andreas. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> It was it was also a glorified excuse just to get get away uh, on the last for a couple of days. Lydia will not be <laughs> end up in trailer happiness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, so what sort of, what sort of sales volumes are you doing roughly then a week? I mean, you don't have to be not precise, but no, still 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 very low. But the the whole point is that when when we set up is the, the the idea was that we were coming in with low overheads because it's it's. A, Effectively, just the two of us. We sometimes get a little bit of help, but it's mostly just the two of us. Uh, we've got almost, we've got very low costs because like we're, we're not using gas. We're using uh, off, off cuts from the local sawmill. So we, we've just set ourselves up where we can get away with selling, uh, you know, like a, a, few, a few hundred a, a month at times. And that's totally fine. Um, so... The idea was that we kind of slowly bed in, get ourselves properly set up on the Isle of Man, and then start reaching out, and which is basically the point we are now. So, having a, a chat with a uh, UK distributor, um, which is uh, probably shouldn't mention who it is, but um, <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. Uh, but like that's that's going very positively, and then that should be the launch pad for us into the UK. So that was always the 
game plan basically is you know just put 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 ourselves in a in a situation where we can move at our own pace um if that answers your question <laughs> yeah yeah no it does yeah. it's I'm, I'm just fascinated by because obviously having my business as well i'm just i'm i'm fascinated by people's businesses because you get some some rum brands like you start up and they they think it's all about adding different flavors you know just to kind of get sales so they, they'll have their base rum and then they'll do like i don't know like a pineapple or spiced and all this that and the other but I, from what i get from you guys i i'm pretty much assuming like spiced and flavors is not really on your radar i know you've got this sort of the schnapps and this whatever this is but sure i think i think I think Rick would like me to make a spice more than I want to make a spice, but <laughs> <laughs> but I think yeah, I mean that, that that's that's definitely true. But yeah. um, but again, it's this whole thing that you know, like when when we set up at the beginning, there were a few kind of like central principles. We were like, okay, so what, before we go off into this, so what you know, what how how do we actually want to approach this? So one of these was obviously trying to operate with a low overhead to give ourselves plenty of runway and. Get to a position where we're happy with things but the other was that we never put anything out unless we're happy with it so if we mess around with some spice drums we're only going to put a spice drum out if it's actually good <laughs> you know like we're we're not going to go okay well we spent time developing a spice drum now let's we don't want to waste that time and let's try and make a few quid off it we're only going to put it out if we're happy with it i i, I sat on what was nearly finished truly for six months until I was happy with it. it you know, really? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm just, I just, we can't release it, Rick. We can't release it. No. And you're like, let's get in the fucking bottle. Yeah. yeah. No, we, um, we, uh, I worked it out. It's fine. It's good yeah. product. There we go. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, and and obviously, like, we didn't just throw throw that uh, rum away. So the stuff which wasn't quite there is basically what we then used for uh, the boxes of punch that we produce because it's 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 almost it's almost hooli basically so um so like we make these five litre boxes of uh, piston punch and uh, proud as punch so piston punch was released around the tt and proud as punch was released for the Isle of man pride festival so they 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 come out uh, as like five percent long long drinks so you're basically having a pint glass with a load load of ice uh, for some for summer boozing um and like tt you get tens of thousands of germans and americans and italians come over and it's like they spend all the all, all day on a grassy knoll watching bikes go by so having a five liter pack of um fruity booze is uh quite appealing <laughs> right let's get let's get these guys drinking something else so you want the the ginger ale with yeah, the, yeah, get with ginger, the ale yeah. ginger ale with the hooli yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's let's get the ginger ale out. I've got um. What well, you your feet feet? before before people uh, pour them? Yeah, yeah. Is, like, we 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 generally recommend that you make the daiquiri with uh, you know fifty mil of hooli. So for those that just want, want a little taster and they might want to do their um do the dac first. Dac. Well, either right, okay. do the dac first or just do a small little taster for the ginger ale. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll do, we'll do we'll do the DAC first. You guys can do okay. your uh, your own ratios at home. I'm going to do. I, I should have left myself enough. Hopefully, uh, if not, you lot have got it at home. Um, actually, I can use I can use that. I'm going to do a five two one daiquiri because I like my I love five two one and a half because I like that. Now let's go. Yeah, we've got a. Yeah, we've got enough. Uh, rum sugar. Yeah. What's your so? What's your favourite, um, lads? What's your favourite sort of mixes? Then is it the ginger ale? Is that kind of what you go for or not? I mean, to be honest, yes. We've been playing around with some of um, Casey's stuff from Stratford, uh, and they're amazing. Don't know, um, don't know who she is. Never, never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> we um, we only met at Rumfest, so we we we're, we're gonna have a proper play around with those. We're I we'll have an hour spot on Friday, yeah. so we're gonna gonna give an extensive road test. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, nice. She's uh, on, by the way. I have I have seen her on. She's she? on. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Casey. Well, I, I, saw, I did see her earlier. Anyway, I don't know when yeah. she's there. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's, it's the, uh, the the ginger ale was just a bit of a go-to because we we were kind of like we we realised that 
because, because we think it makes such a good daiquiri, we've just been focusing on the daiquiri. But obviously, kind of local market, I know, not not everyone's going to be messing around with uh, simple syrup on a <laughs> idle Tuesday. So um, we thought, actually, we need to spend a bit of time work out what what is our simple serve here. Um, we just realised and like and introduced it to a lot of people, and we just found ginger ale was the uh, one that uh, you know landed as the most profitable, most agreeable to the most amount of people. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Kate, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right, I'm going to, I'm just going to mute my microphone for two seconds because I'm just going to have a quick. There we go. No, no one needs to hear that. All right, there we go. Dak. We lo love a good old daiquiri. Well, there's a trick so, here, right? Try the daiquiri right. on its own. It is mint. Hang on. Am I, have I got to put you full screen to see the see the trick? Right, hang on. Sorry, mate. I'm, I've got really bad ADHD. I don't stand still. <laughs> I got, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do try and rein him in. It's a, it's a losing <laughs> battle most of the time. <laughs> so I hope they can fucking bother me. <laughs> what are you guys... Are, what you guys at home can't see is that I could always see that screen. I could always see oh, them right. large. So I could always see him to one side. But when we, <laughs> when I've got this on like that, I can, I can sort of see him just like at the side of the screen, just sort of here. <laughs> Sidling out. Cuddling. I mean, we, we, right. We're quite close on the label, but generally we don't stand that close to each other very often. <laughs> so, is it those back. days spent in the, uh, in the milk shed? Chin chin. He's in the right. hayloft on the computer. There we go. Daiquiris. So, so what are your ratios? Like, what, what's your measurements for a daiquiri then? I've just done your one just now. Um, what, five, two, five, two, one yeah. and a half? Five, yeah. two, one. Um, but you've got to spike it with a hurricane. Have a good, have a good old drink of that. Yeah, try that because that, that is a classic daiquiri. Then what we're loosely coining as the Manx daiquiri is oh yes yeah waste not want not is what like 10 mil i've less. done a 50 mil less. of hooli so what 10 mil yeah. less five mil ten it's seven it's it's well, i mean I'm, we don't really we're not at home <laughs> we're not at home to mr milliliter so um <laughs> we'll just do a little, a basically, little basically you're not saying 25 mil or are you no definitely not <laughs> go, 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 right. go for a loose seven mil <clears throat> A loose seven mil. There we go. Right, I've done that. I'll just give it a quick swirl around again. There we go. Right, I'm, I'm going for the. Uh, I've not actually done this yet. I've not tried it. Have you not? No, I was waiting for tonight. Yum, 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 so yum, this, yum. this is the hooligan daiquiri. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so this is. If you, if you smell it, right, you can see what the hurricane does to it. It rounds it out so much. Tiny amount of it. Oh, hello. Ooh. In it. Oh, I like that. That's a bit special. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Unfortunately, we make both the runs. So, um, you know, <laughs> from, from business point of view, it's a winner. <laughs> oh, that is good. Right, hopefully, right, I want to see people... Uh, that are making this at home. It's all gone quiet in the chat, so I'm assuming quite a few. I can't wait for this to come through. Busy shaking, um, mate. Yeah, busy shaking. So once you've yeah. done shaking, we want to know what you think of the plain daiquiri and then add some... Uh, I was going to call it again. For God's sake. Hurricane. Add some hurricane. <laughs> add some hurricane to <laughs> to your uh, to your daiquiri. The, the, the easy, well, easy way to remember it is that hooli is the max word for windy. So it's blowing yeah. a hooli. So it's it, it's blowing a hooli at forty one, and if it's stronger, it's that's not a stronger wind. Not a hooli at forty one. No, no, no. forty one. They don't even class as a mild breeze. <laughs> it's um, it's sort of fifty fifty five and up is a hooli. Oh, yeah. miles per hour you're talking. Yeah, right, yeah, I was yeah. talking percent. No, ABV. no, no, no right. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's that's good. So uh, Ian's put uh, much better with the added hurricane. Hurricane on top is a game changer. Thanks uh, for the okay, brave it. Yeah, thank. Uh, 
<laughs> so Karen, Karen's, so Karen's had this revelation that she she loves a hundred and thirty pound run this afternoon. So she she's a bit happy with herself. Uh, okay, bearing in mind she was I forget what she started on. Was she Morgan Spice a few months ago? Uh, I forget. No, Pam was. I can't remember what Karen used to drink. But That's a gateway uh, I'll, yeah, brave it too. Bit stronger than I would normally try. No. Hurricane seems sweeter to me. Right, we haven't done the, we haven't done the taste. I'll tell you what, we'll do the ginger ale first, and now I'm going to have a, a sort of a tasting of the um, the hurricane. There you go. Yeah, she started on Bacardi spice. Bacardi spice. That was it. Uh, the standard daiquiri is good, um, but damn, that hurricane is something else. Nice one, Connor. Cheers, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. I've, I've, uh, I've got a video testimonial from that rum drinker, uh, from uh, Connor. Rum Fest. <laughs> <laughs> was it, was he sober? Should, uh, we keep it in the skyrocket for now, Connor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right, let's uh, let's bottle kill. Let's see how much we've got in here. Uh, that'll, that'll do us. We'll do a little one. I'll, I'll keep some sample. Just enough back. Right. I've got three ginger ales here. <laughs> yeah, well, this, and I, and I, yeah. And I, I don't believe in fever tree. <laughs> I, I, I think, uh, I think Philip has um, very fine taste. Philip, flip that daiquiri is unreal. I don't know what he meant to say. It's the who's got more restraint than mine. Uh, nuclear hurricane, it must be. It's a must. Yes. yes. So Joe Wadsack was calling it the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq. Yeah. Nuclear as shit daiquiri. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Oh, what should we go? I'm gonna go Lixer. Actually, I'm giving the boys some love for a while. Um. Right, there we go. Love. Why well, ginger ale is one of my favourite highballs. I do love rum and ginger. Great. So this. I don't. Th I don't think you can beat it. To be honest. Sorry, Katie. I meant. I meant that. <laughs> <laughs> I meant that in the nicest possible way, Katie. <laughs> uh, when you're out, that's what I mean. Because when you're out, you know, we're, we're working on getting you guys listed at every single bar in the UK. But, you know, ginger ale is pretty much, you know, it's all you can get, really. Mm. Oh, it's flipping delicious, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's... um, Because Huli, while we obviously don't add any sugar to it, it's got quite mm. sweet flavor profile um and it it, it 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 just it matches completely with ginger ale it's perfect yeah absolutely perfect right. yeah um the, the way we've kind of been pitching it is kind of like that it's uh, uh like a refreshing alternative to a gnt it's it's quite a nice accessible way for non-rum drinkers to get get involved um because uh that, 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 that ginger it's just like uh eminently quaffable yeah like it's a, it, as in you could be drinking it. Uh, you could be drinking it um, in in winter, or you could drink it in spring. Like it, it's, it's it doesn't feel. It feels like a drink for all seasons. It's it's an all round session drink, isn't it? Oh, uh, see, I've... we are trying the Hooli with the ginger ale, and um, Morgan's and Coke. I've got a theory on this. So my family is Swedish, and uh, a strong wind from the like there, there was a wind called cooling here. Yeah? Which is uh, a strong wind from the north, and it, the Isle of Man and Scotland are both set by Vikings, right? And I, I think etymologi etymologically, that makes sense to me. Try and say that again after another one of those. I was going <laughs> to say you're, you're bringing out you're bringing out the posh words tonight, aren't you? Say that again. Etym etymology. My first attempt at a degree was in linguistics. I just didn't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to a guy that can't even say veg vegetal without saying vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on. I've got to catch up with some of these comments. By the way, I've just added another little splosh of uh, Hurricane to the ginger ale, and that's pretty mm. special as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, anyone who's watching this, uh, do, oh, right. do get hang in on. touch through any of our socials at any point if you find a particularly... Uh, good serve with Hooli or Hurricane because like we we obviously play around with things, but there, there's 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 a lot of cocktails out there. Um, so um, if if anyone stumbles across anything or a serve of their own concoction, we'd uh, we'd love to hear. Um, because so you're 
at Outlier Distilling, aren't you on um, on the ground? Instagram, in, in, yeah. Instagram, and I think and Facebook. I think and I think Facebook, and I think we're Outlier Company on Twitter. Um, yeah, that's probably increasingly. Right. Do you want me to? Yes, uh, yes, do you want me to? True. Do you want me to put that little thing on screen that you sent me just before we went live? Have you got it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I got it. Oh, got <laughs> it. Right there we go. So the the lads, if you wanna if you wanna get a bottle from them. Uh, hang oh on. yes. Hang on. hang on. Hang on. If I this might get bigger. Yeah. Is that bigger? No, no. There, oh, we go. there we go. There we go. Oh, it's all yeah. the same size. All right. I don't know why it looks really small on my screen for some reason. I don't know it's why. Brushing up. Yeah, um, so if, if you go to outliedistilling.com, you can order direct uh, through us and we do a DHL delivery. Obviously from the Isle of Man, that costs a few quid, uh, but um, we will knock uh, that delivery cost off and we're uh, sticking uh, a bit of ginger ale and you get one of those delightful bags. Sexiest tote bag on the Isle of Man, that. And <laughs> yeah, and there's dictionary definitions on it. I mean, oh, that's literally all there is on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, sorry. Going back to um, Scott Newbury, well, I'm a distiller, not a cocktail barman, mate. I've, you know, work with me here. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on, let's. Uh, so Steve, hang on, oh, my, my earbuds falling out. So Steve loves Hooli, uh, and that will get you the discount code. I'll leave that on screen there for a couple of seconds. Uh, actually, if well, I'll put it on in again, let me take it off just so we can. Oh, oh flipping out. Uh, there we go. Off. Right. Let's go back. Let's catch up with that because I'm assuming people have woken up now. We've started making daiquiris and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Katie, nuclear hurricane. Re Tom, really? Oh, flipping start it. I didn't want to start it. We can't ship oh, to the US. Back. Sorry. Yet is the word. Yet. Yeah, yet. <laughs> yeah. Right. Really nice original DAC. Was convinced on adding the hurricane, aka the Hula hooligan but it's a belter step up nice sold uh pam saw pam's comment uh windy windy's bristol bristol uh haven't got any ginger ale but the stratford spice is lush with hooli nice oh, they, they, this uh, is interesting so ian has said um so ian ordered a bottle of hurricane the other day um so uh, uh thanks for the recommendation see um just so, just very uh, very quickly uh chris c uh it's the um it's the Hooli with ginger ale. Right, carry on. Yeah, no, and, and Ian sort of said that he was wanting to try a painkiller because that's, that's um, I believe, his favourite drink or a favourite. Uh, and he says it makes a fantastic painkiller. So, pain so that's a relief. Great. Nice. Uh, glad to hear I that. I can imagine that. I can imagine that it does, actually. So the, the, um, the hurricane, the hurricane is a very different vibe to the Hooli. It's um, some same, same same base spirit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, there, mate? Me. It's my earbud. I've got I've got <laughs> separate. I've got set. I've got set earbuds for the for the laptop, and not my oh, not my posh in? ones. <laughs> and they don't they don't quite sit in there, but they they do the job. There we go. Right. Right. Was in the kitchen making that. Right. Uh, yeah, no, the um, the hurricane. It's got. Bear in mind, right? So a lot of a lot of people would buy. It's not. It's not on my screen, obviously. But a lot of people. That's going to be like the default sort of. And I love what you said to me, Ian. I love what you said to me at, um, at Rumfest. I was like, he go, He said to me. I don't know whether this is true, but he said to me, it's sixty four percent because Ray nephew is sixty three percent. I love that. We just have one more than we need to. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love that. It, it's it's this the is final quite... tap approach to distilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got we got to try and take the piss wherever we can, Steve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that is so drinkable in its own right. It's yeah. you know, it, it's not it's not an overproof to be kind of treated just to add sort of five or ten mil to cocktails. I mean, it is. It works perfectly for mm. that. But it is a lovely. Sipping rum. I really love yeah. sipping that neat. Yeah, it's a little dancer for the strength. I mean, it's um, and, uh, as, as we sort of say, like it's you know it's sixty four percent, but you wouldn't you wouldn't realise that it's any more than sixty three. Yeah, it's um, it's smooth, right? So <laughs> it's not in my interest to make my spirits difficult to drink, right? That that is the opposite of what I'm trying to do. So that's um, 
that's the plan make it smooth make it interesting make it complex that's the plan so how right okay let's let's get to the bottom of something here how is it that silky smooth because you don't add sugar no no I, I, we, yeah, um, sorry we, i thought that but we um we we sing to it by night <laughs> listen to a lot of norwegian black metal while i'm making it no it's um basically that is 95 98 percent high strength huli rum right I then add a little bit of stuff from the barrel, which um, spent half its life in our big barrel and then half of it in New American Oak. And wow, that okay. is what, that's what brings the complexity. That what, it's what brings that sort of mezcali smoke. There's that iodine, the seaweed from the peat, and there's the caramel and, that, and those round American wood flavors. Right, okay. So it is, it's sort of a blended. Um, it's blended, yeah. It's not blended very much, but it is a blended rum. Yeah. Right, okay. Can one of the mods take care of 69mega.com? Right, uh, <laughs> can I do it from here? I think I might be able to do it. Uh, block user, there we go. Yeah, sorry, I've done it. I've done it. That sounds like a hell of a deal, Steve. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I, I normally get one or two approaches each week. <laughs> wow, okay. So, what sort of, without going too technical, what wow. are we talking about? Are we talking like sort of 80 to 90% of the product is. Uh, the hurricane and then it's blended with like ten percent of no, barrel aged or what? No, no, 75, no, no, 25? Ninety-five to ninety-eight percent is, is wow that right much. Now. Yeah, yeah. Wow, we haven't got much of that other stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, it's 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 just um, the I'm I'm trying to recall. Is it the the rum that we put into the barrels it was single distilled? Yeah, it's so, once once distilled. Yeah. So, so the the stuff that we're blending with has been aged, but it's been single distilled. So, as Ian was saying earlier, the single distillation it's obviously carrying so much more flavour. Yeah, so. and I didn't run it through the cat either. So yeah. it was um, it, 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 that that's like that's the fucking fruit one that Huda used to be. We just barrel aged it. Wow. wow. I, I generally love that. I mean, it didn't work for me in a daiquiri at all. No, <laughs> no that's not. But. <laughs> This is what this is one of the interesting things. It's obviously every everyone has different um, preferences and different uh, different palates. And so when when we've been doing tastings, we've basically taken people through this little journey, which is like try huli neat, now try it with some ginger ale, now try it in a daiquiri, now try it with a daiquiri with a splash of hurricane, now just try the hurricane neat. And basically, people either like one or several of them. Mm. And on the few times where someone's like. That doesn't work for me. We go okay. Try it in a white Russian. Try it in a white Russian. Um... Oh, that's that's what you said to me. Yeah, bugger. Yeah, I forgot about. I've got milk. <laughs> We're gonna have to go with milk, but I'm gonna do that. Milk, Sorry, milk, I complete. Milk, milk's how we how we make them rather than cream. Yeah, I, I can't handle. Uh, uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's fine. Uh, we did the whole. We had the whole coffee conversation, did we? I forgot all about that. Right, I'm gonna have to go, Mister Black. Um, okay. I might go. I might go, Luna. Actually, just for a giggle. Oh, no, okay. let's go proper. Let's go, Mister Black. Do you do the whole uh, stir it with the finger? Is that because you're not bartenders, are you? Uh, I, I, I tend to use whatever pointy thing <laughs> is close to hand. <laughs> Sometimes right, the arm of the glasses, whatever. <laughs> So are we? So what? What are we using? Are we? Well, I'm going to have to do. Well, I I I I, I would normally do like the, the classic white Russian mix, which is uh, two, uh sorry, fifty huli, fifty mil of huli, twenty five mil of um, Kahlua. I'd normally use, um, and then top to milk where it's just a nice caramelly colour. Right. Okay. I'm on it. I'm on it. Right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I've got. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to make sure I get loads of. Uh, now let's get that. I'll have to get the drips out of the empty bottles. <laughs> I knew I said too much out to you, lot at home. Right, hang on. Let's do that. There we go. All right, we've got drips there. Spot massive, yeah. mate. I've got. Ah. Da, 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 da. Right, there uh, we oh, it's a tiny, tiny little bit. Oh, yeah. Right. And oh need to need to shake that. 
So you use Kahlua, don't you? So you've got a little bit of extra sweetness, yeah? It, it, exactly, exactly, yeah. Uh, well, I haven't, I haven't tried it with, um, is that Mr. Black's? Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, so Mr. Black's. Mr. Black is essentially unsweetened. So, yeah, okay. like, to to get to Kahlua from this, you're probably talking about sort of 10 mil of sugar syrup. Oh, are you? Right, okay. Yeah. But we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it first. We'll see, yeah, see what you think. Can always add sugar. You can't take away. Nice caramel colour. Did I? Did you order a cat? No. <laughs> oh, That's flipping delicious. Oh, no. oh yeah, I don't need sugar for that. That's delicious. Good. Cool, isn't it? Oh, that's really good. Yeah. It, it, it's weird. Like, um, again, it is, is the uh, the one who knows the booze science. But uh, I believe you're sort of saying that it's uh, something to do with the... Yeah, fat, fat, fat carries flavour flavour differently. Yeah. So so the, the, the fat of the milk brings out a lot of the caramel notes. So suddenly it's it bring, makes Hooli where, where before you go, oh is there a bit of burnt pineapple, is there a bit of caramel in there? Suddenly it makes that pop out a lot more. Or oh, it does for me anyway. <laughs> there is a hundred percent if I didn't know better, right? If someone served that up to me in a bar, I would say that they've used something um, like a caramel, not I wouldn't say sweet. I was going to say caramel sugar syrup, but yeah, it's yeah, not sure, sweet sure. because of that. Uh, caramel there is, you're right. There is that sort of caramel vibe to it. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, and so it, so that if you've got it. if you've got the cure de noisette knocking around, bang some of that in the top as well. Uh, yeah, so wow. it, it's, it's one of those so, things where we take just so happens. Young, oh no, Samaretto bollocks! I thought I've got. I think I think the Amaret the Noisette might be. Amaretto um, probably knock it off. Um, the um, the Brioté the Cure de Noisette is the absolute business in that. Sixty nine megas back. <laughs> oh really? Hey! Oh, they 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 obviously love. They're giving the Isle of Man some love. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah probably hosted it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> right, hang on. I saw a comment here from Pam. What's Pam saying? I got oof, uh, oof. That hurricane is strong. Greater first, then you get slapped about the face with alcohol. <laughs> Think I might prefer it to the hooli. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I hope that's that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where else? Right, that's that's all the comments. This is delicious. Yeah, it, it, it's um, it's a revelation, Steve. It, it's because I, uh, I I was I was. From that era where uh, the Big Lebowski was <laughs> influential in my early years, um, and so I've always loved a white Russian, uh, and so um, yeah, I frequently have a quite uh, a couple of white Russians, and then just didn't have any vodka one day, so I was like, ah, I'll try it with a hooli, not expecting it to work <laughs> anywhere near as as it did, and it um, it was absolutely banging. So I've just added a bar spoon of Angostura Amaro. Okay, because I'm I'm thinking, I did I did have oh. to learn them, ready to go. Yeah. But I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking, just a little bit of sort of subtle spice. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm quite happy admitting when it don't work. <laughs> No, I prefer. I just prefer the sort of the flat out caramelly notes. That's yeah. the spice has mm. sort of killed it a little bit. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah with the with the noisette. I mean, it's only it's only ten mil, but it really it, it basically tastes like Nutella in a glass. It's yeah. I, the only hazelnut I've got here mm. is another brand of rum, <laughs> so I'm not going to get that out. <laughs> right, fair enough. Uh, the noisette. It must be. It must be a drink stuff. It must be down for the other channel. I thought that was it, but it's the amaretto is here, which is really annoying. Yeah, uh, um, yeah we, we're gearing up this week to um, uh, get our heads around um, the outlier 12 serves of Christmas. Um, right, yeah. So, 
we'd love you to contribute uh, if, 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 if you've got time to do one, Steve. If not, that's we, fine. We uh, will. We'll we will do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we doing? Are we doing, uh, are we doing Huli or are we doing just whatever? Uh, uh, we don't care if there's other things, but we 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 want uh, we would want uh, Julio Hurricane to feature, but it's fine for there to be. Yeah, other yeah. yeah sorry, in. sorry. No, I, I didn't. Like, I didn't mean to give you like chairman's reserve or something. I mean, <laughs> yeah. like, don't mind. Yeah, he's he's my outlier distilling serve for Christmas yeah. featuring Plantation. <laughs> yeah, Plantation and Stella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so either rum or both or a mixture. Yeah. Right, okay. Whatever you fancy. Surprise us. We'll, we'll go for that. We'll go for that. Let's uh, let's let's dive back into the comments. And everyone else, right? Actually, and this is Ryan I'm... goes. And if you're still there, where in the states are you? Uh, I know where she is. She's in Ohio. <laughs> she's okay. uh, she, well, she's not at all. Yeah. No. 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 She's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. In That's Ohio. an in joke. That's an in joke. Uh, she's she's right over the other side, Seattle side, uh, Oregon uh, side. If um if you can wait until late June next year, my mate uh, Nathan brings people over to the TT from the states, and he's in Dayton, so we might be able to get you on. Ah, interesting, interesting. Right. Uh, so what I'm going to say, I'm going to bring out drink stuff comments here for a second because, right, what I want you guys at home, um, if, you've, if you're going to buy a bottle, remember, right, hang on, let's get all promotional here for a second. Right, if you're going to buy a bottle, uh, go to outliedistilling.com and use the code Steve Loves Hooli. You've got until Wednesday. I don't know whether that's midnight or 10 o'clock or whatever, but uh, get it done tomorrow morning. Sure, that's what then. I'm going to say. Get yourselves a bottle, right? Then what you've got to do is you've got to create a drink, a 12 server Christmas, but tag these guys in the actual photo. Don't mention them. Don't don't put it in the comments or anything like that out because they just won't see it. If you tag them in the actual picture or reel or whatever you're doing, it will live on their Instagram feed, on their tagged feed, all right? So do that. So we want we want the legends to take over uh, their their 12 days of Christmas, 12 serves of Christmas. There we go. Right. We're um, we, we're getting to grips with social media, but um, you know, slowly, slowly, right? I, yeah. <laughs> I, to be fair, I know it. I don't use it. I just use Instagram. I put I put a poll up on my Instagram stories the other day. It's had uh, or this earlier, sorry. It's had. Where are we? Where are we up to now? Uh, it's had eight hundred story views. It's had eight hundred and seventy nine story views, right? And I put a poll up. How many of you watch uh, YouTube? Eleven. <laughs> 11 people have put yeah I watch YouTube from Instagram so I don't bother with I don't bother cross purposing to Instagram because there's no point that said if this software went live to Instagram at the same time I would do that but um, Instagram don't like third party stuff so in, yeah anyway right let's come back to the rum let's talk about the rum because we want to talk about this petroleum and we want to talk about the schnapps and we want to talk about future plans and Barrel aging and when's when's like a two year old hooli gonna be available and all this malarkey. So what so what's the crack? Okay, right. Petroleum. Um, we thought the hey. we thought the pun first. Um, it's uh, it's high strength, once distilled hooli, which is designed to set your Christmas pudding on fire. And um, let me tell you this: you get a proper flame. <laughs> It is uh, <laughs> sort of, you know, big, big, big. You get big flame. Big. Um, and it was, it was, uh, yeah, that, that was in 2020 um, when we were first playing around with um, uh, the, the first initial distillations. And we're like, hey, you know, let's, let's just get, get something out. We, a lot of the things we're doing, we're kind of doing because we sort of think it's, it's fun. Um, and so we tested. Uh, this first distillation on three different Christmas puddings. Five. It was a really Christmas pudding heavy day. Oh, yeah, I remember <laughs> three. <laughs> Which, yeah, maybe that yeah. was the, yeah. Yeah. five. The so, memory went after number three. Crazy. There's, there's a guy on the island, Carl Berry, who makes absolutely extraordinary Christmas puddings. He's in Selfridges and all that jazz. He's, he's big, big things. But we didn't want to like, we wanted to make sure it worked. I guess a one pound fifty one as well. Yeah. And actually, it improved. It improved all of them. Yeah, sorry, Carl. 
So, so what is it? Is is once distilled, holy distilled, fifty five percent. Yeah, uh, so, it's so only dark... d- diluted down to fifty five. Yeah, but, um, right. but so 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 the idea is, and, and we've got there's a little video on on the website, uh, a little tutorial. But effectively, it's get a ladle, heat under the ladle, tip the ladle so it catches Ooh. light. Have a smell. On, have a smell on it, Steve, because you'll see. You'll can I open it now? Can I? I was I was saving it for my Christmas pudding, but I'll open it now. Yeah. You can you can close it back up. Ooh. So that's what Hooli used to taste like. Well, that's that's what it tastes like the first distillation. Ooh, that's yeah. that's, that's very um, agricole, should we say? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's quite with like a. A creamy, milky finish. That's bizarre. Yeah, it's cool though, right? But um, and well, so like that. it's like some of this early stuff. We were like, we we like this, but how how would we actually use it? <laughs> See if you can probably understand. So don't fire, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but right, this is this is right. See, let's go back to business. Is I love chatting yeah. business with brands and stuff. Right. You see, no, Rick, so Ian, I'm going to stick up for you, Ian. Rick, right, you know you're, going, you're thinking, right, let's do a spiced rum and all this sort of stuff. This sort of stuff, these little add-ons are yeah. genius. Yeah. No one else is doing that. Well, you thank know, you. You could, do, you, could do, you could do like a spiced rum and then you've got to try and push it again. But when you've got little novelty things like this, it's let's fine. be honest, you know, you could, you could set that on your Christmas pudding and set fire. But little bottles like that, it's just the... You know, it just gets people to buy. It's just simple. Oh, it is, and, it, it, and it's for it's for secret Santas. It's for banging in like uh, stockings. Obviously, mm. obviously not for an eight year old. You know, but but you know, like for, for your other half when grown ups are doing secret uh, uh, doing stockings. Um, but uh, yeah, they're just they're just a they're just a fun fun. You know, you know, when I sort of said earlier that we had sort of like some chats about okay how do we actually want to work together how do we want outlier to be what one of them was like we need to be having fun doing it otherwise what's the fucking point yeah you know like it's it, it's got it's got to be fun and we want to pet out spirits that we want to drink um so uh Petroleum is not one of them, but it's that's a drink we want to burn mm. on a Christmas pudding. Yeah, <laughs> I'd quite happily drink that, you know. I'll send you I'd, some weird I'd... shit, mate. We've got, I've got some, we've got some experimental batches up here. I'll send hey, you down. I'm, com- I'm coming as soon as soon as New Year's out of the way. I'm coming over to the Isle of Man. Really? I'm doing, really? I'm, doing really? di- I'm doing distillery tours. I've got, we've got to do it on the weekend though, because Kiki's is not open on Monday to Thursdays, is it? Uh, they're, they're, I think they might be open Wednesday, but yeah, yeah, come at the weekend. Yeah, come on the weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll do that. Right, uh, this is for Pam. Sorry, I saw your comment about the amaretto. I've, I've remade it with amaretto. Cool. Moment of truth. Oh, flipping out. That's ten times better than the Angostura. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually. I I get what you're saying about the the whole hazelnut no, noisette. Yeah. But the amaretto is flipping Ooh. delicious in that. But because I've got bottle kill, I've used the hurricane. Yeah, still good. Which is, which is flipping tasty. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the hurricane's oh. cool. I'm, I'm, if um, if you if if anybody buys it, I'll run you through what's on it, right? So these are the cultural signifiers of the Isle of Man. Okay, well that's it. Right there. it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. So that is yeah. um, that's so, a Manx cat. Yeah, so, got no tail. Manx cat. Then um, that is a long tail because we can't say R A T on the Isle of Man. It's bad luck. Yeah. That is a herring goal. Yeah. <laughs> That's a herring. That is our national dish there, which is chips, cheese, and gravy. Um, and then that's what? my hat, <laughs> Rick Specs. And my Specs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we've even. Oh my God, that is. Makes my I get that. Map, so you know that we're not <laughs> the coast of Portsmouth. There Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll give them the ultra close up. Yeah. That is chips and gravy. Look at that. It's chips and gravy, yeah. <laughs> chips, cheese and gravy. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> so what was that last one? What was that top uh, one? Where's my finger? Hang on. What was that one? So that's, um, that's my hat. That's his hat because he always wears Oh, his hat. right. Okay. And my glasses are in the middle somewhere. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got your glasses. Yeah. And <laughs> I like... 
<laughs> I've just got off the chip. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, so it's with the labels. Is you know, like you said, we 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 want to use like local local artists, good local artists. Um, and then, like you know, if you look at if you look at it, it's like a picture frame. So the idea is that we kind of wanted we want to be more art led than design led. So basically, we give the artist a loose brief and then just hope that they come up with something we like. I mean, um, we, we were very close with the hurricane label to signing off on something which was actually a tornado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, hold oh, on. Shit. No, I, I don't okay. Think That's the wrong time. Question, qu yeah. question, 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 question. Right, we're on the Isle of Man. Like, what What the hell? Like, Cumbria, so that's Durham. That's yeah, 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 North York. So that's, that's northwest England. If you look at the other side, if you look at the other side, it's northeast Ireland. So, what's in the middle? Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Well, there's well, a hurricane on top of it, well, The hurricane is on, on, on top of the Isle of Man. That, that little dot there, the eye, is the Isle of Man, I'm, I'm yeah. assuming. Well, it, it's, it's co it would be covering it up, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have... Yeah. That's very <laughs> kind, Morgan. Um, yeah. Connor, uh, I, I don't know. Right. I, I, don't any, I don't know any more um, names for wind on the Isle of Man. Um, I mean, yeah. we... we I, I, We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try very hard to make a product that doesn't begin with H. Yeah. Because um, we've had Hurricane, Hooli, Hedge Fund, and Honey Bun. So our, our skew notation system on Excel is a pain in the ass. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, 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 then we're also leaning into the P's. Piss and punch. Yeah. Crowder's punch. Yeah. So, uh, so that's four P's as well. Yeah. yeah. And and petroleum. Oh yeah. yeah you probably said. Oh that. shit! You're right. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> HP, HP source. Yeah. Oh no, there might be IP issues. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm just going to catch up with the comments because I'm miles behind. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I'm here, uh, Pam. I'm I'm like 12 minutes behind. Uh, Pam, you should have put amaretto. Right, I tried that. Yes, 100, percent amazing. Uh, last night did the daiquiri, drank half it, and then a dash, dash of angostura. Lovely. No bitters. Uh, Karen, uh, Katie, <laughs> Stratford <laughs> Soda. <laughs> Katie, what's she saying? My old bartender of brain is like, ooh, Christmas outlier cocktails. What can I make? Right, get yeah, on please it. do. Um, Give us a shout. Pam, what's this? I have to put this on screen to read it properly. Pam, tell Steve. Hi. Uh, what? <laughs> tell Steve to get his Discord community to buy a bottle each and get him to come up with a Christmas set. We endorse yes, this right. policy. Excellent yes, idea. <laughs> so, 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 we do. Tell Steve. So, right, you guys tell me. Steve, <laughs> uh, get your Discord you community go. to buy a bottle of rum each. Yeah. Yes, and you can yeah. use that code, Steve Loves Hooli at yeah. outliredistilling.com yeah. to free, get free. Free delivery. Get a bottle of Hooli, okay. get a bottle of the Hurricane. There we go. Yeah. Job, job's good. Job's good. Right, so we caught up there. Uh, oh, Anne's still here. Right, okay. No, no, she's no. definitely gone by now. Uh, da, da, da. what we need to know right hang on what what we need to know is does it burn as well as lemon extracts Pam I'm not going to waste that That this is a private in joke lads private in joke uh, <laughs> I'm not going to waste that until Christmas day that's coming out yeah. to play on Christmas day yeah, uh, yeah, or, yes. not, uh, or, or maybe Christmas yeah. it depends, depends when mummy barman gets the Christmas puddings out but uh, there's a running, is an in joke. I because I use lemon extract for my um. I, I, it's a it's a short story. I use lemon extract to set fire to cocktails because I don't believe in burning rum because that's sacrilege. But we found out a couple of weeks ago that actually lemon extract, lemon extract is does actually contain like proper alcohol. So yeah. an eight year old, Portman Group. I'm really sorry, but it's your fault. Uh, an eight year old could go into Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Waitrose. Go and buy a bottle of this, add some sugar to it, and get pissed. <laughs> how, how much? Um, what, what is the ABV on it then? Well, it doesn't say. That's the point. People are getting confused because it's got ethanol ninety percent on there. But what that actually means is it's ninety percent ethanol in that bottle. It doesn't mean to say it's ninety percent ABV. No, no, no. It's, no. It, it's ninety percent. But so yeah. I, I assumed that oh, it was dealkalized. I'm over assuming a ABV. <laughs> Well, yes and no, because you can dealkalize something. It's not the alcohol yeah. that would essentially oh, yeah, burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It, okay. You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I assumed I assumed that they dealkalized it, but it was still lemonade. But apparently, 
according to Nielsen Massey, it does actually contain alcohol. So I because mean, it's a food ingredient. That's unsweetened limoncello. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Because it's a food doing, ingredient, you're, you're, it doesn't you're need to contain to an ABV statement. You're trying to viral on Daily Mail. <laughs> well, it, it, you know, I, I can't believe the Portman Group would let that slide. I'll be honest. <laughs> So, so, yeah, so that's the running in joke. Anyway, uh, do we get one of those baseball caps? You've probably no. seen this, lad. Sorry, I'm catching up. <laughs> no, we've got three. Um, <laughs> we can, we get Gary to make some more. We, we, uh, we, yeah. um, we, we've got a, our mate up in Jerby. He's a former sidecar racer. He's, uh, he's fucking brilliant. Uh, happy ah, okay. Dog Image Solutions. Give him, give him a follow. He's a nice lad. Ha happy, what, happy who? What? Happy Dog Image Solutions. Oh, I thought it said happy dogging. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, mate. What right. do you mean, Gary? Yeah, mate. <laughs> uh, oh. Right. Yeah. Uh, did you see this? I'm not sure if you answered this. I don't think you did. Uh, and will there be names? I think you answered that, didn't you? Is that what you were getting yeah, at? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. possibly. I don't know that many more names of win. But like I say, we, we have got some stuff in barrel. Um, we are toying with the idea of releasing the TCIS Cup, um, which stands... Definitely for two chaps in a shed. Um, so that's um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's uh, that, 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 that's that's sticking along in the background. That'll probably be what we release next year. Yeah. So uh, uh, this comes back. <laughs> this comes back to that. <laughs> right. Okay. That's very kind. And actually, there was a lady who. Um, one of the oh, drinks yeah. writers at uh, yeah. Rumfest, Vicky from Sated. Sated. Yeah, she came along. She goes, I've been putting off coming to see this because it looks so good. I immediately assumed it was going to be shit. <laughs> uh, but everyone's told me it isn't. So, <laughs> hey, hey, I've got, look, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll level with you, right? So this this isn't you, but this is um, Manchester Rumfest, right? I walk past these guys and I've avoided these guys. Um yeah. For a couple of months, and then I walked past their stand four times. I just had absolutely zero interest in it, right? Uh, so I get what I get what she's beating, right? And it yeah. was uh, Dwight from Rum the Show. Dwight grabbed me. He was like, "You've got to come and try this." And I was like, "Really?" And he was like, "Honestly, try it." And I was like, "Fucking hell, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's really good." You we know, did, we, we did could. Get I, we done like, I, I get right. I totally get why some people are put off labels, but this is why I kind of resonated and like instantly hit it off with you guys at Runfest because you were just like, you know, sod it. You know, we're going to do stuff our yeah. way. And and I, and I love that sort of fresh approach. You know, the, we, we're conditioned without... We, we I don't like to have a pop on him, but, you know, we're conditioned with the whole four square, Mount Gay, pretentious rum sort of mentality. But, do you know what? There's some flipping banging rum out there. The, the, and, it, it's horses for courses, right? And and that and that's part that's part of our. Well, yeah, we got uh, there's no fucking rum heritage on the Isle of Man. Well, we can't trade on that. Like you know, yeah, they used to smuggle it and stuff back in the day. But like, we, you know, we we are two blokes from Surrey making rum in a cow shed on the Isle of Man. We can't pretend to be anything else. So, <laughs> no, no. and and that, it's like, I, you know, like we, we, with our with our kind of branding and and labels. Uh, it's partly it's like that's just what we want to do, but it, it's it's that it's thing that we, that's what we want yeah to it do. is entirely, <laughs> yeah. but um but like we we're quite happy for it to be a bit sort of polarizing as in it's it, we we'd rather that uh, that we're in a situation where some people don't like it or turned off by it, but the people that like it really love it. Mm. So you know it, it's one of the things that you know always always fills me with a with a with a lovely warm feeling when i go round to you know someone's house or going to a bar and you kind of, sort of see it's a bottle which has been pushed into kind of a prime position you know because it's like it's, it's eye-catching or different and it's like that, that that's happening that's happening more and more which is which is lovely I th yeah 100 percent, 100 percent agree with you there it's like we're at um think rum a couple of weeks ago now and um, I was with, uh, was, so Lewis Hayes was doing a chat, uh, doing a talk. You know Lewis? Uh, he's got I haven't, haven't, haven't met, no. 
yeah, he's he's got Black Parrot and uh, Merchant House in London, and he's, he's oh, yeah. setting up a he's setting up. Um, I forget I what his brand's called now. Ah, Dave, yeah, Dave's a GM. Yeah, so ah, right, so okay. I, th- I think I I think we kind of I think you kind of met them on the Monday. I think anyway. Yeah. The the whole point is right. Lewis <laughs> Lewis was kind of had this fresh approach to UK rum and was just embracing everything that people were doing and kind of highlighted a few things that a few negative things that have been said from the Caribbean towards UK rum. And it was just kind of this whole sort of what you know so so basically we we'd seen this bit spiel where Richard Seal had sort of how could I put this politely um poo pooed UK rum because we don't grow sugar cane here and then it was rightly pointed out to him that he actually imports his own sugar cane anyway because they don't grow it you know it's right, okay. it, it's that sort of thing you know he's he's clutching at straws to what's the word to kind of discredit the UK rum scene before it's even started because there's some cracking rums out there being distilled in the UK Ooh. case in point you know no oh, thanks cheers mate and it's it, there's so much quality stuff but I'm going to do a lot more for you guys watching at home uh, I'm going to do a lot more UK rum stuff next year because it needs bigging up but there's so much quality stuff here in the UK that you know flipping no, out I, 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 I get it and obviously Ian from his winemaking background you know where, where the, the whole kind of provenance of, of um, where where things are and where they come from is is of prime prime importance you know i i you know, i kind of un- understand that point but it's it's i think there's a gulf between that and where people use recti- rectified spirits and do things and, it, and again it's that thing back to uh you know uh courses for horses right and it's like what so like those two shoulders right? i think so <laughs> I mean, <laughs> courses for horses yeah i mean I like that. That's even better. Stick with that. <laughs> it's courses horses, fur courses horses. He's completely lost his track already. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, listen, we, we, we buy the best quality of assets we can get. I, I make it as best as I can. You know, hmm. and, it, the, and we have fun it, with it. I think we were slightly touching on the, the, the concept of terroir, right? Yeah. Terroir is a big deal in wine. But the thing that everybody seems to forget is actually it's the processes and the people that are responsible for that terroir an awful lot more than whether it's on schist and stuff really you know it's it's, it's the care that's taken in the vineyard it's the care that's taken in the winery and while we're not growing grapes so you know we treat the molasses as best we can um and we and we, and we try to make the best run we can so that's it Could, just a, a quick technical question because i've just had something that flashed through my head here you know you mentioned the well on site with the water how much how much do you think that sort of water how much do you think the water actually contributes to the actual rum in in Quite a lot. Like, I mean um, <laughs> I mean I'll, I'll tell you now fucking nowhere near what the yeast does yeah. <laughs> um, but it's yeah because we don't we don't use we use the water to to dilute we don't use distilled water so like right. what you're getting in a bottle of hoodies, you know, it's um fifty nine percent Len Trench water that's been 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 purified, right? So right. yeah, of course it does. And and we, we have had that well water uh, tested and it is it's tested, it's tested, it's tested. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, Right. Uh, so have you right, so this is the question. Have you tested, have you done a similar batch of rum or a smaller batch of rum with like distilled water compared to yeah, yeah, well yeah, yeah, water? It's not good. It's not as good. It's it, it's it and, and tastes, even even if that's just mentally in our head, it's not as good. No, I it's I can much. believe it. It's just something yeah. we like as a community, the Discord community. It's just something we hadn't really kind of thought about. Like we we know distilling, we know blending plays a huge part. We know yeast plays a huge part. We know the base molasses plays a huge part. But I don't think any of us had really contemplated the water that actually brings it down from. 80% ABV down to like 40, 50, 60% ABV. How much of that actually of plays a big part of it? How you well. add that water. Like the, 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 the dilution process is a big fucking deal. It really is. Like, and, and I can show you examples that we have completely screwed the pooch on because we added it in the wrong way. All right, Dave. How you doing, mate? Are you in Ramsey now? 
So if you are, hello. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm way beyond in the chat. I'm like I'm still like at twenty plus. Right, hang on. Who's Dave? Dave. I oh, run with the couch. Right, hello, Dave. Marslins, big, big, big Marslins. Right, Runfest. Get your tickets for for Manchester Runfest. Eighth uh, of we'll be there. July. Are oh, you right, exhibiting? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. We, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Right. Hello, hello, Dave. Anyway, and go check out Rum on the Chat, Rum on the Couch as well. If you're not subscribed to his channel, go and go and give him some love as well. Um, Dave, I'm assuming Dave's done a review. Is Dave? If you give him Dave some of this, is Dave? Oh yeah, yeah. He, he, he he had that before it was labelled. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. Oh, hell. Yeah. What? So, yeah. so has he done a Rum on the Couch for this? No, he's done Hooli. He hasn't done. He hasn't oh, done sorry. That. So okay, actually, right, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you want a, if you want professional speak, uh, I haven't watched it. I haven't listened to it. But if you want pro professional speak, go and check out Rum and the Couch's view on this. Uh, I'm assuming he didn't slag it off. <laughs> no, I was um, I was absolutely fucking devastated. That it was Dave's run that beat us in the daiquiri competition. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he paid me more money. That's all it was. <laughs> So anyway, so, a whole fifty. So uh, go go back to the water a second. So you're you're like the way you dilute. It's what is. Like I, th I think you were half in. The... No, no. You, we do it. Over, we do it over several days. Um, right. Okay. We, we just add in add in ten liters at a time over the course of a day. I try not to add more than fifty liters at a time. Um, what, so so control. what you're adding? So your whole hang on. What was this still? One hundred and fifty liters. Yeah, I mean, our, big, right. our biggest tank is 750 litres, right? Right. Which is 750 yeah. litres still. And then we, 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 we fill that with second second still spirit till we, once we add the water, there's not, you know, there's not going to be any more space. So that's that's how we do it. Right, okay. But then so, to so, so the, the 700, uh, 750 litre steel. 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 Yeah. Tank, tank, tank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So seven hundred, yeah. So basically, so you're adding at most ten liters of water a day. Is that right? No, no, no. Fifty liters a day, ten liters at a time. <clears throat> ten liters at a time. Wow. So you're splashing ten liters. Leave it for a few hours to sort of kind of. Yeah. See, I find all this fascinating. This is stuff that no one really talks about because everyone uh, just I, thinks. I tell you now, my job is the best possible job for ADHD in the world. <laughs> 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 so I've got to fill it with that. Oh wait, no, I've got to do that. Okay, right, ten liters. Okay, right. Just, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> it's, it's the rain is not lying. I've I've heard a talk. I forget who it was now, but I've heard a talk about someone like literally doing like ten drops a second or, or on a drip sort of thing. So yeah, I mean, that, would, that would work, but that would require me to be more of an engineer than I am. So, yeah, uh, but I, so I like that. so so literally, you're getting ten liters. You're sploshing it in. You're just chucking it in, and then you're giving it a few hours to sort of settle out, rest, or whatever, and then you you add in more water essentially. Yeah. And why do you do that and not add like a hundred liters of water? Right time? Because it makes it taste better. Yeah. It has that much of an effect. Yeah. Yeah. Because if, if, so, you, if you well, there, there, there was a there was a there was a batch that we did. Let me tell, let me show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let the expert <laughs> let the expert talk, Rick. <laughs> I, I can write the words, Steve. I can't say them. <laughs> One, two, Rodney. Um, there was a process that happens. If you add, if you add all too quick, it's called saponification, right? It basically makes it taste like soap. Um, and we, we mitigated it. It was nearly there. But no, we, 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 we had to use that one for something else. Wow. Yeah. So not only does the quality and the type of water matter, how quickly you, you dilute it or it's how slowly you food, dilute yeah. it down. Yeah. I mean, wow. everything we have said in the last hour and a half uh, has the caveat of in our experience. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, but yeah, but that's the thing, you know, exactly. you've, got, you've got the experience. I think, yeah. I, think, I think I think it's fair to say we are we we fairly embody the the crafter stilling experience. Yeah, we're um, a I lot guess, on the fly. Like I say, the, the, the way that we make our hot water hot, so so that we can do like proper ferments in fucking January and Andrews. Uh, we've got a sherry butt, which we plugged into a local Maniac's old hot tub boiler. And uh, that's how we do it. <laughs> uh, so we, do, we, don't, we, we, don't, we don't actually have any hot... We literally have no hot water on no, the site. No. So we, we got this bloke from Doncaster, Dingo, 
uh, he came around, he banged, banged, banged the supports off, took the, took the dish down out, and uh, yeah, put, put it on its side, drilled some holes, jobs again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Every, everything, everything wood fired, uh, yeah. and with the way gas prices have gone, it, it's uh, it's fairly unusual that making a decision to be sustainable is actually uh, cash positive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Well, I mean, uh, the, the wood price has gone up. Used to be 125 pounds <laughs> delivered for four and a half tons of wood. It's now 150. So you know we're not we're not we're not completely immune to it. <laughs> oh wow, that that's that's so fascinating. All right, look, just before because I, you know, it's an hour and a half in. Just before we let you go, I mean, you're welcome to stay on for a bit if you want. But just before we let you go, uh, future plans like in the next like what's what's 2023 bringing for you, or what well, do you hope to looks achieve? Like we've got, looks like we've got distribution. So. That's wow. um, you should start seeing our faces on bars um, soon. Um, Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, certainly, so that's retail. So that's whole. Well, hang on. So that's that's like trade re, uh, distribution. Trade, trade and, and off trade. Yeah. On and on. On and off. Wow. That's uh, that's pretty but, cool. I mean, obviously due to the volumes that we're producing at, which is relatively low. That you know. We, 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 we're not going to be in Asda anytime soon. You know, it's not, it's, it, of course not. So it's not that. It's, so it, it, it's going to be probably uh, your, 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 your cooler, interesting uh, local off, off licenses and cool, cool bars. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. And, and obviously, people so, can come and buy from us direct as well. Okay. Well, no, I mean, awesome. so hopefully, you know, next year, next year's <laughs> get the processes to a level where we can increase output. Hopefully, without increasing overheads too much, um, and then um, make and sell run. That's it. I mean, if we're, right. the TCIS cut is going to be a, a, a small release that we're going to do next year at some point. Um, okay. And then uh, it, it's basically Huli Hurricane and TCIS. Wow. So and, that's um, so T, TCIS is your barrel. I, no. Don't know yet. Just got the don't name. Know. Just got the name. <laughs> This is sometimes how the creative process works, Steve. Certainly how my creative process works. <laughs> yeah. Wow, um, we've and, got the uh, name of the rub without having to rub. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we've got a name, right? Let's make something to fulfil the name. Right. Um, but also, uh, TT over here is massive, so the, the, the Mo Pike Festival and race. Ooh. Um, yeah. And so we're, we're going to be uh, a, bit more, a bit more involved in that this year. Uh, so if there's any... Uh, Anybody who falls into the biker and rum drinking um, Venn diagram, yeah, give then, us a shout. Then, then, then come over. Yeah, give us a shout. Wow. We'll um, wow. be happy to see I've got, I've got, and I'll have to look at the connections here because uh, two of the guys that work at Drink Stuff with me, right, mm -hmm. in there, uh, she, and well, both of them are connected to one of the race teams on the international circuit. And she's right. a physio for them in the spare time. But they are in the Isle of Man doing the physio. So I don't know what team it is. I don't know who it is. But I'll... We've got the bigger teams then, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll put... Yeah, I mean, she does the whole... Um, well, I'm assuming it's UK, but I think she does go off international as well. But she's trained physio as well. And he does the social media for them. So it's kind of a little... Yeah, well, put us in touch, mate. We'll look after them when they're, they're over, they're, yeah. Yeah, they're all they're always in on the Isle of Man. Always, I was in on. I was all, they're always in the Isle of Man for the TT. Always, every year for like two or three weeks, cool. whatever it is. Yeah, um, brilliant. Yeah, no, I put us in touch with them. Yeah, like I say, we'll look after them. Uh, and when's the first two-year-old barrel going to be released, or twenty-one month, or or whatever the barrel? I don't the, know. The cast I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Um, when it's ready? Because she's sorry. Yeah. You, there's a lot of there's a lot of this stuff going around now. When it's ready, yeah, because we have no idea. It's a lot. This is see. This is the clever business. There's a lot of this going around now from UK distillers. It's like the whole barrel club. You get money in before you've even barreled it and bottled it and all that sort of stuff. But it's, it's we probably should be, but we're not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, somebody was talking to me about that the other day. Well, that probably requires a level of sort. Of, um, <laughs> What? infrastructure of planning or, organization we, 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 all, <laughs> we already have far too many plates spinning yeah uh so yeah we, we're working out uh will okay, hurricane cool. be sold on mass and malt if uh, they ever answer their emails maybe um uh, we have almost it certainly is, it's listed on whiskey exchange so yeah Right. Okay. So I, we we don't we don't talk whiskey exchange here. We're master malt. I'll I'll sort yeah, you out, yeah. master malt. I'll yeah. I'll sort that. 
Yeah, cool. Well, I'll, I'll try and sort. I'll try and sort that. Just, just, <laughs> I've got. I've, I've got connections. Yet. Yeah, no, I've I got see these people commenting that you're coming to the island. I can get in touch. Honestly, we'd love to see it. Yeah, bring yeah. us on right. social. Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron, we have a work trip planned Aaron, Aaron, on Aaron, the bikes. Aaron. Cool. Yeah. We need yeah. a gold Help. rum. Yeah, I, I love a gold rum. I, I, I've got a gold rum. It's just um, sort of kicks you in the face when you drink it, so it's not ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need to do more of that. I mean, yeah. it, like, so the gold rum, which if and when we do release it, is the one we're going to release. I've aged it really strong, so it's sitting in the barrel at seventy-eight. Um, just because I wanted to see what happened, um, and what's happened is good. So we'll see. Nice. So it's fine. If you if you need if you need someone to like uh, an experiment, you know. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. just just a quick sidetrack. It's like uh, I've forgotten his name. I've, I've really bad. I've forgotten his name. I I think it's Dave, but it might be John. Dave. I'm sure it's Dave. Uh, Retribution, right? He had stashed away. He's he's got two different barrels for the wine, but they've got um, a Jim, not Jim Beam. What's the other one? Jack Jack Daniels? Woodford, Woodford oh, Reserve. Yeah, yeah. And Woodford Reserve, and he's got two different. Oh my god, it tastes good. It's only like it was only like 13, 14 months in. But like, it tastes I like, so I, good. I I I I love a bourbon. Um... So I think we do need to get uh, some we've got, barrels we've, on the game. We've got a big order going into Speyside in January. So yeah. um, see, I I I genuinely think for people like you, I mean, I get I get the whole spiced rum. I do. It's the quick, easy buck. But I I genuinely think for people like you, it's that that aging single barrel once twice a year job that is like brings to that spurt of. Like, let's be honest, yeah, Kit. I, I, you know. It, 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 well, you know I'm confident enough Kit. in the two products we've got yeah. should be able to get a solvent within the next 12 months. Yeah. And then we can start laying down stuff. That's and, the thing. and to be fair, a lot a lot of our spiced rum chat was at the point where I think before we'd kind of settled on a good a good simple serve for Hooli. Ooh. So so and, and so that was more kind of like, okay, do we look at something like as a way to kind of introduce people to to our rum locally? Um, and it was like, well, actually, yeah, we've realised we can just do that by serving it with ginger ale mm. because it's a, a really, really great rounded, like mm. almost chewable kind of drink. Mm. It's um, and and so that's that's what's got us in with the um all the kind of uh, the big brewery, um, which we should be, uh, we dropped we dropped off to them on Friday, so we should be in 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 the, those pubs from next week. Mm. Fantastic. So, so it's, yeah, it's, all, it's all just little iterative steps, you know. You kind of... So pubs, we're talking Isle of Man here, yeah? Yeah, Isle of Man. We're not, talk... Isle of Man. We're, we're not talking Liverpool or Manchester or that. We're Although, talking Isle of Man. that chain uh, does have pubs in the West, so we're hoping yeah. as well here. And then yeah. that's part of the thing of like spreading across. Mm. Yeah, if you're watching, Ollie. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, hang on, let's just come back in here. Let's just put Pam on screen because I love this comment. Uh, there we go. Great guys, amazing banter. Wish all rum geeks. She's talking about you, Ian, not you, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for tonight. Uh, Steve, Steve's in. Oh, hang on. I've got quite, oh, bloody hell. I've got quite a few Northern Ireland uh, contingent as well. Steve's one of them. Oh, yeah. So, how easy is Northern Ireland? Do you have that whole. Bullshit I mean, export. You can you? see it. Like, <laughs> yeah, but like, is it easy to get stuff to Northern Ireland? Because it's yeah, I mean, it's, it's UK, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah should be. Right, okay. I say that without good. having ever sent anything there. Yeah, uh, but if you can wait till August, I'm going to be in Moira. So there you go. Oh, there you go. In August, that's like eight. Where are we? Nine months away. That's like a year away. What are you talking about? Uh, Windy, I think I'm Windy sure we went to sleep before. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Windy went to sleep when we were talking rum cas uh, casks, obviously. Just do those two casks that you said earlier, Sauternes and... I've got Sauternes barrels. Um, I've, got new, I've got new American oak barrels. I've got one Ardbeg whiskey, but I've got two as yet unfilled Chateau Le Tour barrels. That's it, Chateau Le Tour. So yeah. that'll... Windy, Windy loves his sherry um, barrel. Well, sherry I mean, if you like rum. sherry, then if I get the barrels I want, then I'm going to blow his mind. Oh, oh, oh windy. <laughs> windy. But, I mean, windy. that is contingent on me finding these fucking barrels I've been trying to get for four years. Right. 
So, so, so Wendy's, Wendy's in Bristol, but he's moving to South Wales sometime in the next sort of five years. I mean, he's been moving for the last two years. So <laughs> sometime, he's got a house, but when he's moving out, I don't know. But so Wales to Isle of Man's not that far. Yeah. My brother's just moved to Bristol a well, year and a half ago. Great wow. place. Ooh, love it. Uh, hang on. My wife. My wife. What? Thought the house was more important than the boy. Ah, right. Okay. <laughs> it's only Scott, the bike uh, chat, mate. Okay, Discord. Back to the fray. Sadly, my bike. Right, player. Seven. What? Hang on. Seven sites in England. That's Dave telling me how many pubs Heron and Brulee got in the UK. Thanks, Dave. Ah, right. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. So, what is, what's the brand? Heron and Brulee? Heron and Brulee. Ocals. O K E W L S. Yeah. So, okay. Ocals is a main brewery which has been open for well over 100 years. It's from 200 or something. Like yeah. Yeah. Um, a long time. Yeah. And, and and they they make some they make some great uh, great beers, uh, but they also own probably, a lot of real estate. Probably close to half the pubs on the island, um, but then they also own a bunch. Well, seven apparently <laughs> in in the northwest. So uh, so you're Tennessee going, you're you're going like, you're covering the whole of the northwest. <laughs> That's the idea. I like that. Yeah, that would be lovely. Uh, yeah. Katie, DHL charges double for Northern Ireland. Interesting. Oh, right. Hopefully, um, things are halfway there, Katie. They'll charge us half price. Yeah. Half price. Right. Okay. You're bringing a punch. Right. Hang on. Well, Dave. See, Dave. Dave's just woken up now. Look, look. What's, what's he saying? You yeah, Dave. Bring we'll, the... we'll bring it to Rum Festival. Um, we delivered. We delivered the punch to the UK. Yeah. I know somebody was asking about that for New Year. Um, yeah. Yeah. Could... No worries, we can send it. Can I, can, I, can I put Dave on the spot here? This is going to be quite funny. I don't care. Oh, uh, Dave, uh, uh, Dave, are we having our first uh, 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 outlier, going to be our first official brand of uh, Manchester Run Fest 2023? Can we exclusively reveal that these guys will be exhibiting? Dave? Well, you told me, I, saw him, I saw him last week in Douglas and said we were going to do it. <laughs> so, 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 Dano, is this a world exclusive? Yeah. <laughs> Outlier. The can't just say Out. FFS. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're, my lot, we're having two uh, kind of, um, what's the word? I was going to say reunions. That's not the word. Two meetups. Let's go for meetups. Uh, I'm, so, I'm going to be at both. But we've got, we've got Manchester Rum Fest on the 8th of July. And then the week after, we've got the Whiskey Exchange um, Rum Show down in London. So I'm going to be at both of them, but I'll guarantee it there's going to be a decent contingent already in Manchester. Um, so be prepared for that. I've got, I know there's quite a few of my lot coming to Manchester next time. Yeah, we'll uh, be in so Manchester. that could be huge. It's a pretty Yes, there, there we go. World exclusive. There we go. Outlier Distilling are the first announced, official announced brand. I'm assuming Chairman's Reserve and Bounty and all that, but we don't care about Never them. Never heard of it, mate. What's up? Yeah. So Outlier Distilling are the first official announced brand of Manchester Rumfest. How's that? 2023. Boom. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Tom, um, uh, Proud is slightly less sweet. Um, they're both really good. Uh, so, I mean, I, to be honest, everything, everything I make in, improves in quality as we go along. I made Proud after Pistons, so Proud's probably better. <laughs> It's the, Jap <laughs> the Japanese work philosophy, Kaizen. Yeah, yeah. Incremental improvement. <laughs> okay, uh, it's not the other way around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, yeah, I prefer the proud. Uh, it's drier, but... Um, a good industry term there, wasn't it? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, so, uh, the, the, yeah, the, pist the piston sweet, uh, yeah. uh, the, the, the pride is dry. Um, but... Um, both of them are great, but I would, as, as I sort of say to everyone else, it's like two things. One, just to always bang it in with a low device because it should be well chilled. And the other is like... Put some it, hurricane in the top of it. Exactly. It like, <laughs> it's like, you know, that, it, that, that's been delivered to you at 5%. You can jazz it up by uh, banging in some Hooli or hurricane. You know, we, we, developed, we developed the Punchbox's idea for, for volume venues at the TT. Yeah. We didn't, nobody wants to be arsehole at 3 p.m., right? So we had we I wanted to make them initially twelve percent, um, but you know we, we had to we had to, to dial that back. Yeah. Um, Phil Reed, 
What bars are I recommend on the Isle of Man? Kiki Lounge. Glitch Kiki's, Bar. Kiki's, yes. Go and see my boys at Kiki. Dave, while you're still here, Dave, they were flipping robbed. They should have won your bloody chairman's reserve <laughs> night I final. They were flipping robbed. Yeah, it's a kind anyway. of glass um, glitch. Uh, foraging Vintners Bar in Port Erin. Uh, Tom, um, Tom at Refuge makes a great cocktail. Yeah, Refuge. Um, uh, but, and the Grosvenor Pub in Andreas. Okay. So, and, so not a... T- not the Tacoma and the Henderson and Glass, as Dave recommends. Yeah, no, Tacoma, <laughs> yeah, 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 we, 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 shit, there's loads of good places to drink here. Um, where else? I mean, Ramsey-wise, Traff. Oh, um, I tell you what, also, one of my, one of my new, uh, well, also, and it quids in. That quids in, quids in. Quids in. Quids in. Like, it, that is a proper, proper live music pub. The guy knows how to run a bar. It's a fantastic pub. And he wow. supports live music every night of the week. Yeah. It's wicked. He's a proper passionate uh, yeah. landlord. Yeah. And the Ginger Hall, of course. Oh, we've got a fucking local. <laughs> no, we were, we were building up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I had a great night there on Friday. Uh, the, the, yeah, yeah. The, the Ginger Hall. And the Mitre. So and the Mitre. Sorry, Carl. There's, there's like, and uh, the Raven. I went, I, I went to the Raven. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll there's a few people that use the Raven. Yeah. There's lots of places. I'm going to ask a really dumb, stupid question here. How does one? How does how does one how does one get to the Isle of Man easily? Do do we fly from London? You do. I mean, somebody somebody mentioned the fog earlier. Do not take the fucking evening Gatwick flight. Never take that flight. Um, Flies from Manchester, Liverpool, Birmingham, uh, Heathrow City. Okay. Into into Douglas, and then. Yeah, and then down. you'll obviously yeah. pick us up from Douglas and then take us exactly. Yeah. yeah. Can, yeah. can we, we for, for someone like me that likes a likes a car journey? Can we can we boat to the Isle of Man easily? Yes. Yeah. 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 Piece of cake. Uh, Liverpool and Haitian. Yeah. So so oh. it's like on, on on a fair weather day, three hours, and you can go on as a foot passenger and all that stuff. Yeah. Well. I mean, there's there's nothing quite as depressing when you've got to get to Guildford. It's <laughs> arriving at eleven thirty p.m. to Lancaster. Oh, fuck. So, oh, wait, wait, what? So, whoa, 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 whoa. Three hours, did you say, on the boat? I can't Three hours to Liverpool. Two hours and 45 minutes to Liverpool. Was in Jack, so right, you, know. you better get on to... Where is it? Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so in the winter, so in the summer there's a catamaran that goes from Liverpool, piece of cake. In the winter it's a proper proper ferry ferry and that goes to Lancaster, well, Heesham. Three hours? Three hours and forty-five minutes um, from Eastern. Yeah, I can get to bloody France from bloody Dover quicker than that. And, yeah. I, and I'll tell you why. It's because France is closer than the Isle of Man. Really? Yes. Have a look on Google Maps. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But, I mean, but, the but, flight from Belfast to the island is twenty minutes. It's ridiculous. You better get up in the air. Wow. Mm. Okay. So, so my road trip to uh, to the Isle of Man because I need because I need to go and see the boys at Kiki Lounge. I need to do, yeah, I need to go and yeah, do that. Uh, I would fly. Uh, I mean, honestly, fly. Yeah, just fly. Yeah. Okay. The right, um, <laughs> in terms in terms of ease from yeah. where you are, and and um, if, if you haven't booked in yet, uh, keep in touch because uh, either late January or early February, I think we're going to do the inaugural outlier uh, outlier punch pong championship. We've had some punch pong tables made. So they are wicked. Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Some punch pong? What the yeah, hell is like that? Yeah, like beer pong, but we using punch. our punch. Yeah. Hold on. This is oh, probably okay. So, so, so like... Right, okay. Right, okay. So... Right, here we go. Here, ah. look, let's see. Yeah. There we go. Right. There's our punch pong table. <laughs> oh, flipping hell. Cool, so right. what? So so what? So what's happening here? Punch pong? What? At a local pub or at the Gap or yeah, the yeah. distillery? So, pub, pub in Douglas, um, I believe the railway. Um, so uh, yeah, so it's just going to be kind of like good good music, cheapish cocktails, and um, punch pong. And punch pong. I'm coming. Uh, think, that's think that's basketball. Th- if you've ever seen that, basketball, that's the Perry. <laughs> That's a YouTube video in the making. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Reporting live from the World Punch Pong Championships. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Get, yeah. Just, just, just get it set up. It could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. 
Right, uh, SDB City. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know about members meet up, but I'm I'm flipping going. I'm, yeah, mate. I'm going. Oh, I've everybody got, is I've, welcome. Brick, brick, I've got get to enter teams for the uh, punch pong. There we go. Yeah. Wow. So, so my distillery tours for early Jack for early 2023 in the yeah. in the book. We've we've already got scratch scratch. Uh, we yeah. can't, we're going to see scratch, which are really near me. Uh, two drifters. We're definitely we're definitely yeah. going down to see two drifters. I don't know what I picked up. I've picked up the pineapple, but there we go. Uh, who's the other one? We're going to see. Uh, oh, oh uh, Kit, yeah, Kit, yeah. Kit doesn't <laughs> Kit doesn't know it yet, but I'm a hundred percent going up to see Kit in Scotland. A hundred percent. He doesn't know that yet, but we're going up there. Um, Look at that. that that's, a, that's a handsome lineup of. That's, that's, hang on, let's let's do let's do that. That's a bit bad. There we go. Do you, Kit's new bottles are freaking sexy, aren't they? They are. Yeah, I mean, I have got my bottle shape for Hooli recently. That's the new one you got there because glass is a bastard these days. So. Yeah, <laughs> hmm. it's sort of it's sort of getting back to normal, sort of. But I get it. So, well, so depends, which is not, the, not the company we were yeah. using. Who we should no. mention? <laughs> like older so, yeah. So, which is your standard bowl? The, the, the hurricane? No, that the one there. So, basically, we the Hooli bottle, we've, we've, we've made that as bartender friendly as we can. Now, we thought we had it right with the previous bottle, but now with that Proper pinch net. in the neck, you know, it's all about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the idea. It's, it's a low weight bottle because it's a that that. very expensive stretch of water. Um, the hurricane's not lightweight. <laughs> yeah, no, I chose that bottle yeah. because the name for that bottle is Fuerte, which is strong in Spanish. So I, I like that. I like the super pump. Right. Just just for people thinking, what does he mean by bartenders? So bartenders, we've always got, like standard, we've always got the pour spout facing that way. Hang on, where's the label? So we've always got the pour spout thing there. And we don't, you know, we don't kind of hold the bottle and do that with the jigger. It's kind of, you know, sometimes some of us, some of us will kind of hold it that way and we'll we'll sort of pour like that, flip it like that. But then some of us will kind of grab it like that and just do that. So is it bartender friendly? We'll take the feedback now. That that is a hundred percent bartender friendly. 100%. Yay! This this hang on, let's do it with the empty one. This Maybe not so it's not. much. That's not no. But it's overproof rum. Oh. You're not going to be flipping it upside down, are you? Really? You're not. not you're not doing thirty mil shots with that, no. 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 But courses for you, horses. You, you, yeah. Courses for horses. <laughs> I like that. Cour courses for horses is is a definite winner. I do like that. But yeah, this is a hundred percent kind of flip up. Yeah. Courses for yeah. courses. Yeah, we yeah, like yeah. you know, like we say, it's in our interest to make it as easy as possible for people to use our product. So that's like that. Good. Right. Last last few comments. Last few. Let's do that and then we'll let you guys go home. I'm already so I'm home assuming you don't. Home. I'm assuming one of you's got to go home, like Rick. <laughs> Rick's now going to get a fucking taxi in Ramsey at 10 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah. Rick's going on the couch, mate. <laughs> uh, oh, that's all right. That's fine. I mean, I'm going to be kipping on the couch. Yeah. Lock in. Lock Waving in. Sorry. Not care to see car home in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get him pissed even more then. Uh, right, hang on. Yes, right, hang on. Scott, there's a few comments here. Hang on. Yes, Tom, Manchester Runfest for the weekend. Yeah, so uh, Manchester Runfest. We've already got plans, by the way, and I know Dave's still here as well. We've already got plans for Manchester Runfest for Friday night and Saturday night and Sunday lunchtime. All right, so Sunday lunchtime is like the, the family roast dinner. Um. Friday night is just the, the kind of source beforehand. Because I'm assuming people like you will be there Friday night ready. Because you're not going to come in Saturday morning. That's stupid. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no, no. We'll, um, I mean, preferably Thursday. Yeah, we're, we're going to make a weekend of it. So, yeah. awesome. <laughs> see, uh, what we have to, we have to build in contingency. And by contingency, I mean time to have fun. No, and also, uh, like, um, <laughs> I mean, not to put too fine of a point on it. In 2022, I've had, well, hi. My extended family on the island have had 12 cancelled flights on that evening gathering flight. So, <laughs> you, you learn to live with what you got. By the way, I've, uh, I've not done this before because um, I hadn't. Uh, <laughs> Hurricane and ginger ale is really good as well. Is it? I've got, yeah. I've got plenty of, well, I say plenty. I've, hang on, wrong bottle. I've, I've actually got, 
I'm not right. Well, I've, yeah, I've got about an inch left of hurricane. So what? So so hooligan, hooligan and ginger ale. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we can do that. You've not done that. This is science ginger happening ale. now on YouTube. Yeah, it's a world exclusive. We like world exclusives. <laughs> Can you see that is some good, good insider knowledge. Yeah. We will do that. What's hang good on? Insider. What's Katie say? Try the hurricane so, with lemon. Sounds good. Yeah. I'd give that a spin. Oh, yeah, is this? Wreck. And then like try and set it on fire. Hurricane with lemon extract. <laughs> Would 100 percent recommend setting up on a Friday, Saturday was watching the carnage of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no one sets up on the morning. No. I mean, that, let's be honest, it's just a table. <laughs> but no, you bring a whole bar. You guys that what you had at Manchester uh, London Run Fest, bring that. Like Dave. Yeah, we will. I mean, that, it fits in the back of the wagon as well. Yeah. Totally that. Yeah. 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 I mean, Dave was just laying on like like what six foot tables. No, that's that's rubbish. You know. Hurriting, I like that. Hurriting. I think David just got back from Berlin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was a busy man. Busy right. Spanish, so, so hurricane, hurricane and ginger. Oh, that's a bit strong. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Oh, that's quite that's tasty. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. You get it's got this thing. It's got this thing, right? If I close my eyes, I wouldn't pick that as like um, an unaged rum. I would kind of pick it as like it's got a couple of years behind it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there, there is elements which mm. are not. I tell you what, Ian, yeah, that's yeah, flipping yeah. delicious, isn't it? It's cool. Isn't I'm it? gonna get. I'm some, yeah, I know Mummy Barman's watching Celebrity Get Me Out of Here or whatever the hell it is, but she. So ginger ale is her drink of choice. She yeah. loves the ginger ale. She, she goes with tons of ginger ale. I think that's where I get it from, to be fair. And um, I think I think she would flip in love this, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Delicious. Do we... Uh, look, I, I'm staying on. Look, you two are welcome to disappear if you want. I normally oh, stay on till half time. nothing else on, mate. Right. <laughs> what I'm going to do... What, <laughs> what, what I'm going to do, because I've got little dribbles left, I, uh, I'm going to get... Robin, you could buy it from our website, outlierdistilling.com. There, oh, there is a voucher oh. code, Steve hang Loves Hooli. There we go. Is that is that Robin with the Y? Is that my Robin? Who's, who's Robin? Right, Robin, Robin Brown. I can't see. I can't. I haven't caught up. Yes. Hello, Robin, darling. How are you? It's the super yeah, fast right. Manx Fiber Broad Brand, mate. We're, we're way ahead of you. <laughs> right. It's my... See, it's this weird thing with this software. Right, right at the start of the stream... The, the software for me keeps up. So you're seeing exactly, you guys, you're seeing exactly what I see, right? But the comments just scroll. They just go, so the new one that's popped up, so Scott, for instance, will be at the bottom. Me, as soon as you get an hour into the stream, it just stops and then it goes, right, you've got new messages and I have to continually scroll, which is really annoying. Anyway, whinge over. <laughs> I've, I've got Katie back and Dan's, end, yeah, back end. Terrible back ends. How do I hide this? Where's that comment going? Uh, hang on. Oh, Scott, Scott's put a link. And that got through. Like cool, that. that's moderate. Thanks, Scott. That's nice one, Scott. You get a big that's moderate. When we see you. That's oh, moderator you privilege, isn't it? Like he's Moderators can get away with links. Right. Um, so, this is going to have to be a, hooli, a hurricane test because I don't have. Basically, the lads didn't send me enough. That's what it is. <laughs> we didn't send you enough, Steve, because you didn't ask for enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said two hey, or three. Look, I sent you three. <laughs> flipping out. I know. I was just like, I'm, I I, asked brands. So, backstory. I asked brands for like, if we're going to do two, I was like, uh, mate, look, if you can push it, two bottles of each, but I, I'm happy with one. And and you very kindly was like, no, 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 we'll, se we'll send you three bottles of the Hooli. Uh, and two bottles of the hurricane. So I was just like, oh, I'll send, I'll send you lot at home. I'll send yeah. you bigger samples. Um, but, you know, these, these guys are absolute legends. And as I say, I did fall in love with this rum massively. At, um... Are we lined up? There we go. Hang on. <laughs> oh, see, it, it, Ian, and, with your and, ADHD. And, and I've got to say, you were very lovely, Steve, in introducing us to all kinds yeah, of nice mate, people. Thank you so um, much. That, make, was, that was amazing. And making us feel very welcome. And so. my mum says hi. She was just here. <laughs> oh, I loved your mum. <laughs> uh, 
Was that, hang on, was that your mum or Rick's mum? Whose mum oh, was it? Yeah, it was your mum. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I love yeah, your mum. <laughs> your mum was brilliant. Good value. Brilliant. Like how, like how cool is that, right? Your mum comes out to support you at Rumfest, like, and look, and let's tell the rest of the story as well. Like, it wasn't just you two guys at Rumfest; it was like good friends of yours that came yeah, to yeah. help you on the stand yeah. for the weekend. Well, well, I mean, well, that's me, flipping. One of my mates, so uh, my mate Sean, who I've known since I was twelve, um, who's like a big, big rum fan. Uh, you know, his uh, parents are from like the West Indies, so. He knows way more about rum than I do. And so he was like, yeah, I'm normally on the other side, so I get to go in for free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of get it, but, it, you know, it's just, it just speaks volumes for you guys that you've got that sort of friendship network that would just come out and help you for possibly the make or break weekend of your yeah, business and, and life they, so they far. You know? Absolutely amazing. They were quality, yeah. I mean, my, my mate who come up, Sam, he's... Um, Sort of old school wine industry bod. He knows his. He knows his shit. So, um, but he was. Yeah, but the thing is, well, the thing is, well, right. And I know Ian. I caught you right at the start. There. I think it was. I think it may have been Friday. No, when was it? What days were it? Friday. It may have been Friday that we chatted first. Was it? No. Yeah, what day yeah, did it start? No, Saturday, Saturday morning. It's Saturday. 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 Well before it opened, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So Monday was trade. So Saturday Ooh. morning, I got you way before I met Rick. But yeah, that's right. I met Rick later in the day, but it was, I, I tell you, this is, I'm picking up your mates here as well, because it was your mates that kind of really held the fort and mm. you had no idea they weren't part of the brand. Yeah. They knew everything and they were all on it. And it was just brilliant. That's that's the whole point I'm getting at. Just that oh, whole support network you. was brilliant. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we're, um, we're very lucky. Our, our mates are very supportive. And um, they all like to drink rum. So, you know, we can pay them in kind. <laughs> <laughs> right so um i'm i'm hurricaning it up because i haven't got enough hooli to do this but we're we're hurricaning uh katie and dan's stratford awesome. sodas that's that's Excellent. what we're doing that's yeah, what we're uh, doing katie, katie sent us uh some samples um which uh we have been meaning to properly try and we haven't yet is that is that hey. our dimitri by the way Rick, Rick, apparently you're sleeping no, on the couch, so it's no time like the presents. Hang on, where's... What, what? There Hang might on. be another dim. Yeah, is that our Dimitri? Hang on, I, I'm it. catching up, but I want to know what this is before I catch up. What, Pam, why are you swearing at me? What have I done now? What, or what have I not done? <laughs> you ran out of rum, bro. <laughs> oh. Is that hey, what man, it is? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Hang on, where, where's your Dimitri? Right, hang on, there we go. Let's put your Dimitri. Good man. <laughs> right, Hello, mate. Go. Thank you. Nice. I like that all kinds of people comment. Yes, Robin. Right, hang on. Well, Tom, Tom's just... Do I know that Dimitri? Have I met that Dimitri? I... He, he, uh, he was he at Rumfest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was, I right, really... okay. But I think I met most of them on your stand. Just putting it out there, Steve has been bigging up your rum so much ever since the rum fest, and they've and they've lived. I I thought I put I automatically put failed in front of that, <laughs> and they've lived up to it fully. Great guys too. Ah, oh, there we go. I have been bigging up. I'll be honest, I have been bigging up. Right, uh, let's go tropical first. Tropical with uh, a bit of hurricane. Sorry, fuck me, Dave. That sounds punchy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Cheek, cheek, hold on for dear life. So I'm getting tired. Oh, I need to contact lenses to work better. Nice. <laughs> just, just give me a shout and I'll put it on screen so you can see it bigger. Yeah. Uh, you need proper That's hurricane. A hundred. Oh, a hurricane cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we will. We could do that as well. Well, uh, yeah, sort of. Hey. hey. <laughs> Cheers, Stephen. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing out on the hey, thanks, man. I what? I, whoa, whoa, whoa! I have, was Steve I done? Steve I, I bought the first lazy dog in Northern Ireland, so now I bought the first Hooli in Northern Ireland. Yes, nice mate. We we'll yes. appreciate that. Thank you. We'll have to send you a certificate. We'll send you <laughs> two bags. <laughs> uh, Not two bottles. Two bags. <laughs> Live a little, Steve. It's Sunday. Talk to me. What? What's going on? What? Why am I, why am I not living not a little? Much fucking chat tomorrow morning at work, is it? 
be like, coffee, yeah. Uh, coffee. Dave, I don't know why I'm not living a little. Is is, is that saying making a... I'm not living a little because I've got no rum left to live to to make the hurricane. That's what I'm saying. Steve, I know, I know. In theory, in theory, you're meant to talk to a rum producer from all over the world. Can we just do this every Sunday, though? <laughs> Mate, on, honest, honestly, I am. So my lot, I've been chatting. A, I've been chatting a lot in my Discord community. I and Lewis, Lewis Hayes, kind of spurred this as well. I want to. I I love. Don't get me wrong. As you can see, I love. Caribbean all rum, all you know. Rum. For, I don't think there's anyone here not watching me for the first time, but just in case anyone is here watching me for the first time, hang on, let's do a quick screen swap. Right, you can see my back bar, just in case, like, no one's seen that before. Right? Is that green screen? <laughs> yeah, green screen. You're here. Magic of green screen. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I do, you know, I do love my rum. Um, yeah. I've got some expensive rums. So, the channel is 50 quid, um, mm -hmm. but I've got some... I've got the expensive rums, not on show. You know, we've got the whole Ronku Bays and, you know, uh, we've got we've got stuff like kits, uh, barrel aging. We've got, what else have we got down here? We've got Flor de Carnes 18 and 25. You know, we've got loads of stuff here. But what I really want to do, because where I think I can make the difference and I've got that platform to do it, I really want to hone in on UK, proper UK rum. So that is my kind of, niche that i'm going to try and exploit a little bit in 2023 and let's be honest you know there's i think it's 27 i think there's 27 of you now that are distilling from scratch in the uk right yeah i think that's right so, I've heard that number so before, the big yeah. question is can we get them all to enter the first outlier punch pong championship <laughs> hey, it, might not, it might not it might not answer who makes the best run it will answer who throws the best ball yeah. But that's the thing, you know, we've got, so Vince, Vince from Portsmouth Distillery, I've had a good chat with oh, Vince yeah. now about, yeah. Yeah. about how he, about his dehydrated sugar cane. Panella. What was it? Panella. What, who, what, when? You probably know more about it about me. That, what, oh, that it's dehydrated yeah. sugar cane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we thought was just sugar, but he's explained it to me and my mind was just blown. It was just like, oh. Yeah. Okay, no, so, so Vince thing. is... Vince is coming on to do another one of these. Uh, he's yeah. dead keen to come and do that. And they've got big plans going into next year as well. Uh, um, you know, Kit, I'm going to do some stuff with Kit, Ninefold. So we're obviously going to do stuff with Lewis and Sean and the guys there. Um, I just think UK, we are producing some phenomenal stuff in the UK. And I say we, it's not me, it's the new guys. And I think it just needs shouting about, to be honest, because I really do Thank think it competes. I really do think it competes with Caribbean. <laughs> we're, we're not within in the, the British, British Isles. Isles. Within the British Isles, we're not part of the UK. Yeah, British. sorry. Yeah. I mean, to be fair. Yeah. To, be, yeah. to be fair, I'm Cornish, and everything outside of Cornwall is like not really. No. You know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. True. <laughs> so, so being being a Cornish minority, I kind of, you know, I kind of get your viewpoint. Yeah, yeah I mean, because um, I I'm not from the UK. I'm from Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was always a country, mate. I fully endorse that. Yeah, exactly. Right, uh, Kate and Dan's uh, spice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, I tell you what, the the hurricane with uh, Kate and Dan's spiced is pretty damn delicious. <coughs> I'm sure it would be. They're all delicious. Now nah, the hedgerow is pretty ropey. <laughs> I'm just I'm just waiting for the. Uh, <laughs> the one uh, uh, da, 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 da. Hang on, I'm just checking. I've not missed anything. Live a little, Steve. It's Sunday, right? That's where we got to. Uh, Katie, honestly, oh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hang on. I think Katie's bigging you up. What's Katie saying? Honestly, not only is your rum great, you guys are so good to talk to and listen to talk. Oh, uh, that's very kind. I imagine you're talking about me. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, commission, right, hang on, right, hang on, what's this? What have I missed? Commission Katie to make a specific outlier soda, right? Literally. So, here we yeah. go, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my two pennies worth in here because yeah. I think apricot is the most underrated flavor in rum. I think apricot yeah. and rum deserve some love, so that's yeah. my 
that's my kind of, and then you guys can follow this up with your, what would be your perfect non-existent soda at the moment to to create? Fennel? No, I don't. <laughs> Fennel? Uh, I'm joking. Uh, uh, see, this is where Ian steps in. I'm just like, oh, I don't just do bang it in with something. Do need a proper glass. So hold on. Give me a minute. I'll get back to you. <laughs> please, now, please we, don't say fennel. <laughs> yeah. I was like, if if um, I very seldom say fennel, Steve. <laughs> that's that's Rex Gin Roots coming out to play. This is Ian sniffing into a glass for ages and. Staring wistfully into the distance. Right, I don't tell you how to do your fucking job. <laughs> I love, I love how viewing numbers sort of plummeted a little bit when uh, Celebrity was on, uh, and now Celebrity's finished. Like viewing numbers are going. Up. <laughs> really? I can't watch that out of principle. No, no. It's, um... I've, I've seen about ten minutes of it this year. Does it mix with coke? Yes. Yeah. It, yeah, it mixes yeah, it with does. coke, but it was. There was a bit we talked about earlier where we we're sort of saying about working out the simple serve because I think we've just gone uh, rum and cake and it, because it 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 works okay Ooh. as in who right, well, works works okay with coke it, with uh, lime I'll, I'll level with you it lacks on the mid palate when you mix it with Coca Cola it, 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 exactly um, it's it's, like, it, it's drinkable but it, it's it's not. It's not the thing where we sort of think, oh, yeah, that's amazing, and we want to recommend that to people. And then we found with ginger ale, it's like, actually, uh, that's really complimentary, and like the effervescence mix, mixes really well with everything else. So the, the flavour matchup of the ginger ale is, is pretty, pretty well perfect. Yeah. I tell you what, you two come out with all the posh long words tonight. You've got effervescence coming out to rock play tonight. You can say that one properly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can say, quite, I've had, quite unusual at this, this stage of the evening. Yeah. I've had plenty of experience saying effervescence. Right. Do you know what? I've got my winner for the, the hurricane. And well, I've actually got... Do you know what? It's not my favourite, but I'm actually blown away by... This is genuine. I, love, I, do, I do quite like the hedgerow. But I've never really kind of found the pair, the sweet spot for the hedgerow, yeah. if you know what I mean. It's not my favourite mixer out of the three. But I tell you what, that really works. That's really nice. Is that with the Hurricane or the Hooli? It's Hurricane. Has he got the Hooli? The Hurricane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got <laughs> I've, I've bottle killed. I've bottle killed the Hooli. Um, the Hurricane. The, the, yeah, that's really nice. Well, we're, we're trying it with the Hooli as well. Um... The only one I honestly didn't like, and this is really bizarre for me because it's actually my favourite, I didn't like the Tropical with the Hurricane. Okay. Um, well, I mean, the ginger are, is are, lovely. We're a lot more hedgerow than we are Tropical, mate. So that makes oh, yeah. sense. Yes, well, geographically speaking, yeah. I well. mean, to, to be fair, uh, Katie from Stratford was sort of saying, saying this literally i think the first time i met like oh this would go really well with the head trophy <laughs> so she knows shit. Well, yeah. well, yeah. well done 10 points <laughs> right hang on okay uh what's what's big so big g is our out and out um our out and out rum geek oh yeah so i don't know what this is so here we go side by side mount game madeira versus I think Big G's just doing his own tasting at the moment. I'll be honest. <laughs> I've, Good. I've, I, I, I love the yeah. enthusiasm. That's excellent. Um, oh, I get, sorry. Really? I've read it properly now. So he's got three Madeira casks. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, looks nice. This rum bakes. Does it make with Coke? Right. You guys have already seen this. Right. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whenever it gets here, I think I'll try rhubarb. Rhubarb. How can I do rhubarb? Have you got the, the Brias I do one? Have you got that? I don't... I, I'm i I'm quite snobbish. I only really do the posh Brias. Uh, the posh um, Giffard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. I've got something rhubarb here and I can't think what the hell it is. What, what have I got this rhubarb? Pam knows my back bar inside out. Pam, what's, what rhubarb have I got here? <laughs> 
Um, what's the what's the Aperol? That's rhubarb, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah. I've got something rhubarby, like rhubarb mixer. I can't think what the hell it is. Rhubarb vodka, but it's a drink stuff, apparently, Steve. No, it's not that. Whoever said that, um, it will come to me. It's not syrup. It's de it's not puree. The puree. I have got. To be fair, I have got a rhubarb morning, but that's a drink stuff. Um, I've got some. That will come to me in a minute. It will come to me. It'll be like that's what it is. Right. Uh, right. Hide that. Rhubarb. I do flipping love rhubarb. Right. Hang on. Oh, sorry. Uh, what? What? That's my orders. Couldn't resist. Oh, Phillips just typed. Ordered them both. Awesome. Right, hang on. Uh, cola works. Pineapple juice works better. Pineapple juice. Okay. Uh, what? Steve finally agrees with my pairing. Katie. Oh, Katie's just jumping on the bang rag just because I said something now. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that. <laughs> Tropical is good with Huli. Yeah, I can't comment. I'm, I'm not loving the tropical too much with the hurricane, I'll be honest. It's a little bit... Not chewy. What's the word I'm looking for? It's a little bit... Not... It it, it's, it doesn't go that... that I'll be honest, the hedgerow goes down flipping well with the hurricane. Uh, Bakes, um, in, in, in answer to your question, if you could come back to me at about 7 a.m. tomorrow when my kids wake up, I'll let you know. Oh, you got... Oh, which, oh. which is, is it true like Trump gives you less of a hangover than a dark rum? Is that a selling Franklin's. Point? Franklin's rhubarb. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We can do that. I think, I think, yes, we can. Who said Franklin's rhubarb? Steve-O. Yes. There it is. That's what I was waiting for. Rhubarb, right. It's Have I got... difficult. It's not when really you're reversing. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it's yeah, taking a while. Yeah. Hang on. Is this going to be bottom? No, we've still got a little bit. It's like that. Yeah. <laughs> mad. Right. Was, uh, and Steve, this wasn't the bottle you sent me, Steve, because I've got like three or four of these, but <laughs> I think Steve sent me a bottle of this as well. Right. Rhubarb lemonade with, 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 let's just, I'm just going to call it a hurricane now. With hurricane. <laughs> with, oh, it's called cool. Fluff. It's called cool hurricane. That was, quickly, hey, Katie, I've... sorry. Katie, can you just say a bit more? You said hetero was made for overproofs. Can you talk a bit more in, about that? I'm interested. Hang on. Hang on. Right, there we go. Right. Yes, this one. Katie, elaborate. Katie, if you want to come on briefly, uh, if you want to come on, let me know and I'll send you a, uh, a link somehow. Uh, oh, I can, yeah, I can open up Discord. We can, you know, depends right. how pissed she is. <laughs> right. Yes. I know. Yes, that was after I left the area. Oh, I tell you what, the rhubarb is a great shout. Uh, Bates, it depends on whether Rick can get a taxi or not. Yeah, that's. <laughs> See, that's gone. Taxi's gone. Hang on. If the taxi turns up or it doesn't. Guys, carrying on after the stream. Ray and Hedge works great, so I can see that. Right, okay. Give me a second. I can I mean, dance I'm, in bed. Dance in bed? Dan, I'm hubby, Dan, what do you mean? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Katie, why is Hubster in bed? What, what's going on? Like, what's, what's that? Oh, and with who? <laughs> so, Bake, Bakes is called, I think his first name's Anthony, but he called his Ant Bakes in our Discord. I mean, it's Ant, anyway. I'm assuming it's Ant or Anthony. Uh, Ant's, this is quite a funny story, actually, because Ant's just kind of, you know, he likes, he's, he, he boldly claimed like Kraken was his favourite rum earlier, right? He's kind of new to us in the rum sort of community. So he's got on there. Right. And then we were all chatting about other rums and stuff. And he's bought Appleton eight-year-old. So he's gone literally from Sweet Spiced to 
like Jamaican eight year old in just like that. So that's that's quite funny. So and I can't wait to see how you get on there. Katie is watching what? He's watching the stream. Dan. Alright, Dan. How you doing, mate? Right, hang on. Katie, if you want to come on, right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me just give me two my stream might go funny for two seconds. Katie, I'm just gonna put the stream link into Discord. because uh, I can't open Instagram on here. Um is Discord opening? My, I've got a little I've got a little worry thing on my thing. Hang on. When Discord opens, give me a second. And now it's going around a circle. I think you need to see the doctor. <laughs> got a worry thing on your thing. Hey, look. When when the live stream's going, everything every <laughs> like so I've geared my I've geared my laptop up so like ninety percent of the of the power is dedicated to Firefox at the time. So everything yeah. else just runs so slowly in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's getting there. Discord is starting, apparently. It's wearing around. Well, I don't know what that Half is. an hour later. Okay, as soon as it opens, I'll send you the link in Discord chat. Uh, I'm trying... Right, I'm flipping hell. Come on, Discord. Hey, right, there we go. Right, and... Right, DMs, DMs, Discord. Oh, Beats, yes, it is hard to get a taxi over here. <laughs> uh, not always. It um, is hard in the north if, like, you, if, you, but, if, you, uh, if you haven't booked in advance. At like 25 past 10 on a su Sunday night, probably not. Paste. Right. Uh, and enter. Right, Katie, it's in your Discord DMs. If you want to jump on, I will see you. Um, I will see your little face pop up. It's completely up to you. If you don't, you don't. You can you can carry on in the chat. If if Dan's going to be jealous because he's in bed, that's well, that's his problem. Uh, Steve, right, hang on, right, recommended Coca Canu. I did Coca Canu. To be fair, it's a coconut rum. Coca Canu is really good. Right, hang on. So uh, Steve recommended Coco Cano. I've not been able to put it down. Yes, that's what we like. It's a step up from Kraken. At least it's Ray and Nephew at the base of it, so that's fine. Uh, I'm trying it at the weekend. Kraken, Bamboo, Coca Cannon. See, this is what, right, lads, this is what we do, right? So we, we collect, we, the Royal We, me. Oh, oh that was my camera, yeah. so I. Right. You turn into a laptop. Uh, yeah, so we, we coll I collect, like, the entry. That's what I want to do on this channel. I collect, like, the entry people to run and then take them on that journey under 50 quid. 50 yeah. quid rums, you know, and then, you know, that I've got people in the community. <laughs> yeah, I've got people like Big G, Garant in there, um, and so many people in the um, in the Discord, you know, that have got the experience of more expensive rums, but it's just trying to build this community to take people from sweeter, because yeah. we all yeah. know, right, yeah. sweet spiced rum is going to carry rum for the next year or so, mm -hmm. but then... After it's just going to plateau and disappear, you know. Brands are going to go bust. It's people like you that are doing it properly. Here she is, look. Here she is. Hang on, hang on, right. Hang hey. on. Hello, here we go. Hello, hello. hello. How you doing, mate? Hey. See, now we are. Now it's like this. We have to go even closer. Maybe, maybe like half. Hang on. I can I just. Look <laughs> at that. Look at that. We have the technology. Let's let's do that. Let's put the better looking one on full screen. Yeah. Oh god, don't. I've literally me and Dan sat watching this in bed, so I've just had to cross off and get like camera ready. <laughs> <laughs> camera ready. So come on, Katie, talk to us about hedgerow and overproof and all that malarkey. Um, so thing in life is overproof rum and white rum. So it's kind of like my rum drink. So when we create the new ones, on this, it's mine and it's only mine, really. It's that's why when people are like, I don't like the hedgerow, I'm like, fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> but the idea is because it's berry, it's not a sweet, sweeter rum typically. So they marry a lot easier together because they're kind of tartness from the berry kind of level themselves together. So a lot of people when they have just a normal white rum with the struggle a bit, they're like, oh, it's a bit tart. It's not what I was expecting. I'm like, well, you kind of need that added sugar of an overproof. Dan's here as well. You can say <laughs> hey, Danny boy, how are you, my friend? Are you all right? Hello, mate. Hello, hello. I've been thrown under the bus here. I was watching the stream. 
team in bed, not in. Hey, Dan, <laughs> Dan, <laughs> don't worry. I want to know is, do you have your trousers on? <laughs> Just about. Yeah. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan, I've I've sent you your. Do you remember the um, uh, the uh, the Madeira stuff from Rumfest? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a little care package coming for the rum take on the fourth. So I've I've sent that. Yeah, yeah. He's excited. We're away on holiday next week, so he was worried he was going. I'm, I'm happy now. Could it, oh, it's all right. Enjoy it's, I've sent I've sent it to your to your vacation house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is why it's their bathroom because we're living with my parents. So <laughs> this is our like one little room that we've got free. We are drinking early <laughs> though. Yeah, I have to say. Lovely, thank you. Um, so, yes. uh, so the question is: are, are you getting your parents in on the live stream? We want it. We want it. <laughs> no, we, 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 want, we want to hear. We want to. Nobody wants that. Inquiring <laughs> minds want to know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, well, I'm really right, hang on. Okay. okay. Thanks for coming, Big D. Uh, Katie, any more wonky bottles? Big D. <laughs> Big D. That's the nicest Big, Big D thing in. anyone's ever said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Katie's told me, oh, look, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Katie, yeah. any more wonky bottles? Yeah, I'm really bigging you up, honey. Uh, wonky. Just regards to wonky stock, we do still have a fair stock left, and I think we I found four citrus wonky stock, so that's really all we've got currently. <laughs> four, right, right, hang on, hang on, right. Uh, Dimitri's got a question for the big two. How'd you guys mention uh, yeah, the battles? We're, we're, we're gonna start laying down and with a bit more anger next year, Dimitri. We're gonna get a big order into Space Side in January. Um, that's Gonna be that's gonna be a bigger part of what we're doing. Yeah, we got some of the stuff that you tried. Fuck, really? Come up early oh. this. Whenever you came up, it was it, it was this year. Oh uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, bless him. Dimitri drove all the way from Douglas to Andreas on a scooter <laughs> in a in the absolute pissing rain. Uh, 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 <laughs> and that's Isle of Man pissing rain, which yeah. is it's yeah, not it's just torrential, in, which means it's <laughs> coming in sideways as well. Uh, but Dimitri, you'll be the first to know. Um, when something which we deem might be ready for release um, is getting to that stage, so don't worry, right. mate. You'll be lo you'll be looped in. Right, Katie, I'm going. Go get a four-man team ready for the Outlier Punch Pong Championships in late January, early February. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, definitely up for that. Right, Katie, as we've got you on, right, I'm going to get your bartender Katie hat on now. Not Stratford Soda Katie, bartender hey. Katie hat on. But <laughs> no, bartender no. Katie hat. Right, Hooli, give us a random bartender Katie cocktail -y serve. What in your? What, where are you thinking? What are you thinking? I, I'm thinking a great. Uh, what? Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Fruit, rum, sour. <laughs> Grapefruit, rum, sour. Oh, hello. That sounds tidy. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds all right, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds really good. I think I'll be honest. So, I'm... <laughs> what's that? What's that? I, I, I'll cut. I'll cut. I'll cut. What? Kate, Mrs. G, still loving the nails. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about this. Go on, give us a close up, Katie, of the nails. Go on, just for Mrs. G. There we go. <laughs> They're Christmassy. <laughs> They're Christmassy. I've got. I've got some. Um, Tingy stuff. Right. So I've done a video this week. I've debunked the Paloma with um, rum. And that's coming out probably in two weeks now on the STB Extra. But I've got these left over. I've got Fever Trees, Grapefruit Soda, and I've got Ting. But I've well, also he, got... Dave was saying that he likes Hurricane and Ting. Hurricane yeah. and Ting. Um, we can do... Hurricane and Ting. Hurricane. We can do... I'll be, I'll be honest, right, this right, this stuff, I'll, be, I'll give you the close-up because I'm small screen. I'll be honest, right, this stuff with a bar spoon of sugar syrup is actually quite really tasty. It's actually a lot better than ting. Just needs a little bit of sugar. Well, it's really tasty. Well, 
may, may be, but that involves to drink. extra levels of input, which most people can't be asked doing. <laughs> What's that? Is that? Imagine. Day in, day in. Well, You're right. He's reading the things. Oh, right, okay. Right, okay, we're caught up. Right, uh, let's, let's just do this, Sam. Um, so, <laughs> what, sorry, did I miss something then? Sorry, I was concentrating no. on something. No, not really. Nothing worth repeating. Just That's g- okay. general ribbing. Yeah. So, so, right, okay, so we need, right, this is the plan, right? We need a, a Steve the Barman, Katie, Steve the Barman, Stratford Soda, Outlier Distilling collaboration how does that look uh, much like this yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well okay first step is Kate, katie sent a lot of samples across which uh we have been uh i i i'd sort of say we've been busy but it's basically we've been remiss we we have scheduled twice in to do tastings uh, uh with them and and I haven't got around to it so we will well i okay well i haven't I haven't. So <laughs> I've been remiss. He hasn't. Um, so, uh, so one one thing which would be great is do that and go. For instance, go the hedgerow goes great with the overproof, and then then one is that stuff that we can do at events, but also like just through the website that we can go. Okay, uh, you're buying some hurricane. Get this with uh, with uh, some of the hedgerow because Ooh. we think this pairs excellently. So like in in, in the most basic way that that. But um, but uh, yeah, I, I am several drinks. You are, you are, you are. I'll, right. I'll, I'll be honest, Rick. Oh, that was pretty yeah. dull and boring. <laughs> I, I'm amazed. I got to this point. I was also drunk, and I was like desperate to get off the stream. That had about thirty odd glasses at that point, and I was like, please, I need to go. <laughs> no, no, no! You can't get me off. I want to reload. Right. No, no, <laughs> yeah, just fucking reload, I'm, mate. You're not going home, are you? No, I'm not. I'm going to be honest, right? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be because we've got to that stage. I've just done a simple mix of those two, and that works a treat. That's really tasty. <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as the head. It's not as, it's not as good as the head right? <laughs> look, I don't look. This is the one time that I actually kind of not get excited, but actually kind of like a fever tree product. I don't like too much fever tree of them, but that's actually that grapefruit thing, wherever it's gone. It's this one. Yeah, that's actually quite tasty. So, Katie, we need we need to discuss like we need to narrow down the 50 flavors that I've given you. We need to narrow it down to like a top 10. Well, so. I feel like apricots back at your top ten, and it was banana, and it was something else. Scrap. I'll be honest. Scrap the banana. Banana. Yeah. I'm. I'm intrigued by apricot. Okay. <laughs> I like apricots. So I'm not against it. Hmm. I'm intrigued by. I'm intrigued. Right. Hang on. I really think gooseberry. Oh, hang on. Gooseberry yeah, and gooseberry. apple soda. Ian, gooseberry with your rum? Yeah, love it. Love it. Great idea. Yeah? Yeah. Interesting. I do love a gooseberry. I mean, so the, one of the things that's the most abundant here on the island is um, gorse, which is an absolute bastard to pick. The flavour's amazing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I used to use it in gin when I, back when I was making gin. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's like sort of when you dry it, you get that coconut, because when it's fresh and you're sitting next to it, it smells like... Hawaiian tropic, like it's that it's that coconutty tropical vibe. Um, but when you dry it, it turns into this sort of mango pineapple coconut affair. It's amazing. Um, I get it. We, I, we've I, got. I this. It is, pardon? Did you say gorse? Gorse. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, I used to do a like gimlet kind of cocktail a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's a prick to pick isn't it i mean like if you if you find the european gauze you can sort of you can take the end clusters and that's all right but otherwise you just end up with pierced bums yeah yeah we, we've got a pile so i spent like i spent like a winter just picking gauze yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah. for a cocktail competition 
don't know what I don't know what this means, but it's we've got a, a a Stratford Gus. Gusty I don't know what that means. Morgan's I, I and think... Coke. It does taste like coconut when it's fresh. I don't know what that comment means. I, I think I've missed a couple of comments getting to the gust. I think I gust have to. V. Uh, did it to see a proper straight up cracking the bamboo. It does taste like coconut going 20 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Right, I've caught up with the comments. Bakes, right. Okay, thought. Right, okay. So I think, right, right. Let's, I think us three entities. Include, so we include Dan with Stratford Soda, you know, Strat, you know, us three entities. We need to right, think of something, right? I like your, what do you call it? Punch pong? Yeah, punch pong. I like the punch pong idea, but I think, I think we need to do like a little sort of mini collaborative. Come over. I don't know. There's, there needs to be something. Yeah. This could be quite fun. Katie and Dan, we we can't like there might be like a, a joint Synergy. trip to the Isle of Man sort yeah. of Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we my little heads man. We we can yeah. we can figure that out. At any time. I mean this is this the Isle of Man is a beautiful place to live. I would suggest visiting between April and September. Or just gird in your loins. Mm. Or just bring a proper coat. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> We're literally in peak coat. November, so Ooh. Now I do. Oh, right, there was one comment which I wanted to find out if you had discussed, which was right, go on. Scott, New Scott Newbury. Forget the drinking neat, mate. Just enjoy it, pal. Right, hang on. Where's that? How far ago? Have you got a timestamp yeah. on that? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, twenty-two, twenty, uh, thirty-three. Twenty-two, thirty-three. Right, hang on. Scrolling up. Right, hang on. Uh, 22, 35, 22. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, 22. Oh, 32. What? 22, 33. Right, this one. Right, I've got it. Right, we're on screen. So, so yes. what are you confused by? Uh, no, I'm not confused by anything. I just want, I, I, I wondered if you had discussed it when I was stumbling around in the dark outside looking for more so, ginger ale. So um, Scott, is re Scott is obviously replied to someone. Yeah. I'm assuming... No, I, I, I'm assuming... I, he, he, he was just, I saw it earlier and it kind of, it spoke to me a little bit just in terms of that whole thing of like um, not... Not, 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 so, not, not, fe not, not feeling like... You have to kind of just um... say what you mean, Rick. Come on, spit it out. We're all friends here. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying, like, if if you like it with fucking Tabasco and tomato <laughs> juice and uh, Twister Life, fucking drink it like that. Like, if 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 if, if you if you like uh, Captain 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 Morgan's and Coke, fucking great. Like, yeah. doesn't matter. Just. Try, try, try different things. See what likes. See what you like, and 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 go with that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so basically, are you are you getting a, t a bit touchy because you don't no, no, you no, think no. someone doesn't opposite. like your no, opposite? Opposite, <laughs> opposite the touchy. Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, okay. we're the same. We we we're the same with our mixers. Offended by it? It's one of those like, no. like we made the mixers because I didn't like the current options. So I don't expect. Like the current options. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think there's a lot of um, a lot of sort of snootiness involved in the booze industry, which is frankly kind of nonsense. If something tastes nice, enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, when I was in the wine industry, and somebody told me they like a six pound fifty kiwi serving your blog, but fucking great, lucky, brilliant, yeah. well done you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Question. Question. I'm not sure how this is going to roll out, but. So you've got you've got two bartenders here. So me and Katie, bartenders, right? How does one go from wine, oity toity? I don't, well, I'll be honest with you, Steve. Right. I wasn't ever that oity toity with it. <laughs> uh, can I be brutally honest? You don't yeah. strike me as a wine person in the slightest. I know my shit though. Um, it well, was yeah. Uh, you don't. I, mean, I was um. I tried to be a teacher, yeah? 
I did I did TESOL qualification, went to teaching, I lasted three weeks. Absolutely fucking hated it. Um, and then I started driving a van for Majestic, learned wine like that, and ended up doing a degree in it. Because I, I like I like the science of making booze, that's what interests me. I, flavor is the only thing that drives me, right? Flavor right. flavor is everything to me. And then uh, uh, ended up in the trade in London selling, you know, unicorns to oligarchs, cold calling people, you know, it was fucking depressing. So, you know, changed, changed my gig and got back into making it, and now I'm happier. Right, okay. So, but the, the wine thing just doesn't compute the most, in my the head most to you. The thing I learned from my wine education is how to taste properly and understand where that comes from, right? And the process you need to get from, like, I, my products all begin at the finish point, and then it's retrofitting what I need to do to make that, right? Okay. So, so okay. So, Katie, from a bartender point of view, I sort of know Katie's background a little bit. Right. So, Katie, how do you get me. from, like, a bartender? So, how, how do you get from... Because this is... I think this would be an obvious question to answer. But how do you get from a bartender to... <laughs> to that? I think the question is, how do you get from a makeup artist to that? Because that was my... I tell you I fell into waiting for my makeup artist to take off, to be fair. I mean, the real Dan, Dan, <laughs> Dan wanted a business, and Dan is very, I do not have an ounce on Dan's ambition. And he, he was like, you're good at drinks. Because I've been doing my cocktails, Dan. He was like, you know flavor, you know drinks, and you love your rum. Um, let's do something with it. Let's make it into business. Let's go somewhere. We didn't know where we were going at first we were originally doing like doing like a, a lavender flavored one and a basil flavored one but they just weren't working with anything honed in on what what i knew mm -hmm. and kind of went from there a little bit yeah well it's a, yeah. It's a very sensible approach to it yeah but but and, and, and that's also very honest like that whole some early stages we're like don't really know so we're just going to kind of go headlong in and suddenly go that's not working so hold on step back go back to the fundamentals what tastes good yeah. <laughs> this tastes yeah, good so and this tastes good literally how we made the base recipe it's like when you try our sodas it's kind of like right. our sodas are basically what you're drinking from our kitchen like the recipes were not changed that much from when we took game ratio but just higher quantities and fancier stuff really is what happened yeah. with us so for, I, I, we were in lockdown like the midst of lockdown I was going into Waitrose and buying every single exotic weed shelf and then just going like going to Till and the lady going, What the hell are you doing? Don't worry about me. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm walking <laughs> home and just throwing stuff together. We had like raw and guava and what we had some weird stuff. We had like pomelos and oriental shelf we were trying and playing with until we found something that we liked. And and what we really found was was we stripped all the best cocktail, like balanced cocktail, sweet, sweet sour spirit, and then, then um, you know, there and engineered into a mixer from that bit. Yeah. See, I've got a question, but but Bakes has beat beat me to it with an absolute corker. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I've never actually seen the film my whole time. I've what? Never me seen too. The never seen cocktail. it. Oh That's my god! I'm, I'm, dis I'm, I'm disowning all of you. How oh my god! Right? No, but on a serious note, right? No, I'll be serious here for a second. Like th this is what fascinates me because I, the reason I resonate with you guys is because I, I'm pretty much the same. I don't get all geeky and and all that. Th there is too much geekery. Geekery is that a word? Um, there's, yeah, there's also yeah. a lot of bullshit too. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. too much, and at the end of the day, you know, look, white rum is, or unaged rum, sorry, I, you've called it, here's the thing, why have you called it white rum? It's just white. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> you would, no, 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 no you a, would it's, not. It's an interesting point, it's yeah. an interesting point, and I would be very interested to hear your perspective. No. Right, so here's my here's my point. Because we are conditioned to believe 
the white rum white rum does absolutely nothing for the category because white rum is bullshit because it's unaged rum well, it, but yeah, it, it, to the it, it, average person it, it, at home to the average person at home that is freaking white rum is it not sorry yeah. that's the only full bottle i've got yeah yeah, yeah. you know so there's, we, we don't want to make people think too hard mate you know it is for, for the average person in the world that is a white rum yeah and look, I, I, I think I think it's probably fair to say that we don't have a lot of shot. We don't have a lot of shot front on the label either. We need yeah, to be, actually, we that's need to be succinct. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's those letters make a difference. Yeah. No, um, right, no, but it, it, it's like there, there's been years of of people going, okay, well, we have spent we spent more time and energy and resource in aging something so we need to sell it for more so basically in in the way that they can uh give more credibility to a gold or dark rum that automatically besmirches the white rum right so and, so question and, and, while, and what is under while you're chatting quick quick question business wise does that sell better as white rum or unaged rum on the bottle I don't and know that's Rick. Is... <laughs> no, but that's Rick because I know Rick's in that sort of uh, world. I, I, I think, I, I think probably the the question would be whether it's got rum on the uh, sorry the, the white or the unaged at all. Yeah, I think I think probably if you just got rid of it. Yeah, maybe rum, maybe. But yeah, yeah, but um, or if you just had Hooli, Hooli rum. Yeah, <laughs> like literally yeah, like but... that. I, like, but. Again, that depends on who, who you're trying to appeal to, and it's like, you know, we're we're selling for thirty four quid a bottle. It's it's kind of like that entry level premium because you know it takes time and effort to do what we're doing. Like, and we're we're not cranking out fucking hundreds of okay. thousands of bottles a year. Um, so okay uh, then. Far from so it. okay then. So to relate that to Katie, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. So. We've got white rum. See, I'm a, I'm a big fan of white rum because I know people refer to it as white rum. Spiced yeah. rum. I get yeah, gold I... rum. I, I get why people hate the term gold rum, but I get mm -hmm. gold rum because it's explanatory. People okay. understand how, it. How do you feel about amber rum? Well, slightly darker gold rum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. That's exactly what it is, is it not? Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah, right. Yeah. So Katie, right? If you're trying to explain a mixer, say, I don't know, and I know you have different flavour profiles and all this, but if if you, to dumb it right down, bare basics, we've got the citrus there, bare basics. If you turned around and you said, right, you've got two choices. That pairs better with an unaged rum, choice one, or a white rum, choice two, which is going to sell more? Um. I will always say a white rum because I've with white, white rums myself just because one, it's ingrained in you and two, you want everyone to say unage to certain people. They're going to go, what? Ew. The, the first one comes going to be rum. Like, what do you mean unage as a spirit? It's that neat, neat out the things that are going to be ethanol. And white rum is, they know that it's not going to have spices in it and it's not going to be cracking. Rummy. Now, I'm, honestly, I'm 100% with And this this is all... There's a little bit of politics behind the scenes here, but this is all stemmed from a couple of people that think rum. So the, the industry rum gets going. You know, it's like we shouldn't really be calling things white rum. It should be unaged rum. It should be... should be unaged, aged. End of story. And I'm like... You can't seriously tell me, like, and I'm not being, I'm not being funny here, but Rick and Ian, I'm not. You can't seriously tell me that you would, as a brand, sell more by calling that unaged white. No, brand. no, no, not at all. It no, ain't no, gonna no, happen. It's it just ain't too gonna much happen. To the consumer, right? I exactly. Think 100%. unaged puts you at a price. I mean, I, I mean to, to be fair, like, if, if if you kind of wanted to borrow down, like, yes, uh, we could use that term on the back label but it, it, it like 
that that's, that makes no material difference. Let, let, let's just talk consumer speak. You know, yeah. we're in the business. I'm, you guys, both of you guys are selling or making products for the consumer. I'm here to educate the consumer. Let's Ooh. just talk in their language. It's yeah. white rum. It yeah. is white yeah, it rum. Is. And yeah. to a white certain rum, extent, I, I, I think you either you either call it white rum or just rum because it's fucking clear from the bottle. Like it's yeah. clear. Like it's not like you look and go, hold on. Is that co- no, no, it's clear. So it's um so you you either call it a white rum or you just call it a rum. I think and 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 I love the guys, don't get me wrong, and this is their slow rum. I do love the guys, Matt and Lauren, but I think even silver rum kind of doesn't really work either. It's kind of That's, I don't know. Maybe and, they're just Becky, fans. I mean and I, Becky my, is what, my entire my entire my entire fucking life in the booze industry has been trying to make things easier and more digestible for people, right? It's just make it simple. Yes? Yeah. I'm totally with <laughs> you. I think, we, I think we go with the kiss. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid. Sorry, Katie. I'll on, say rum mixer on it and people still go, what's it for? There's really? only so many. Yeah, which is excellent. That's, uh, <laughs> that's quite depressing, isn't it? <laughs> so that, there we go. Rum. Mm. Uh, is... Yeah, Stratford Soders seem to be available through outlierdistilling.com as yes. well. And uh, uh, before yes. everybody signs off, I'd just say thank you everybody who's placed orders tonight. That's really kind. Yeah, really right, hang on. Because it's getting to 11 o'clock and I'm going to call it quits in a minute. Right, just yeah. before we go, hang on. This, this. Oh, wrong, wrong screen. There we go. Right, let's put that on. Again, so outlierdistilling.com. You get a free sexy bag. I think, to be fair, sod the rum. I think you just need to place an order to get the sec- sexy bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ba- cool. I'm using the bag. The bag. The, Going through. The bag is like, like right, hang on, hang on. I, I need to uh, quit. The, right, if we all got that. Steve loves Hooli. Right, we can remember yeah. that height. Right, hang on. Disappear. Oh, flipping hell. Go. Right. <laughs> right. I've clicked it. There we go. Right. So. Good luck, uh, yeah. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, hang on. So we've Thanks got, we've got now, we've got noun one. So we've got outlier, right? Noun one. A person situated. A person or thing situated away or detached from the main body or system, i.e. that is us in the Isle of Man and also us up in the north of the Isle of Man, thoroughly out of the loop. Yeah, Ian, Ian, that's totally Rick, isn't it? Rick's come up with that one, isn't he? I mean, I think it was actually the Oxford English <laughs> or something. Yeah, we did. <laughs> really? <laughs> is that is that? Oh, right, okay, right, yeah. okay. Let's go number two. A personal thing differing from all other members of a particular group or set. <coughs> is that the number Oxford English is, dictionary as well? And number three is a outlier ritual, which is three. The third definition is a distillery in the Isle of Man making bloody marvellous booze. Yeah. Because that's what we're trying, baby. No. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I'll be honest, also got from Katie was this bar blade about six months later. That's a fucking good idea. And thank you for the sweetness. And and, uh, and, uh, a glass... (laughs) Oh, I love Katie and Dan. No, but I think I th- to the rum. I don't drink rum neat, whatever the measure Dan poured me pretty quickly. So I'm not a neat rum drinker that often. And we were on Hooli, I think, not Hurricane. Well, I'm I'm pleased about that. Obviously, that you shouldn't say that too much, given as you make rum mixers. But I appreciate the sense. <laughs> <laughs> Really who, who needs I a mixer really when you can drink Hooli Neat? I've got my own oh, product in the house at the moment. It's in the car for holiday. Brilliant. Right. I think, right, before we go, because it's getting close to 11 o'clock, I think us three, we need to come up with some cunning plan yes. for UK brand awareness, yeah. domination, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that yeah well, keen on that. 
it, we it, definitely... it sounds from your, uh, your, your viewers that there is a uh, genuine enthusiasm about uh, doing an Isle of Man trip over. So uh, maybe... Uh... Yeah. Do, 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 do yourself a uh, team for the Punch Bomb Championship. Interesting. I'm coming regardless. Um, <laughs> yeah, interesting. I like that. Uh, River Plate 13. I don't know who that is. River Pirate 13. But anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, Katie, thank you for coming on from, yeah, nice from your see, bedtime mate. slumber thank with you. Dan. Uh, Rick and Ian. Thank you, lad. Genuinely, thank you. I'm so excited. Look, th this is the reason I get people like you on because I'm generally excited to see the journey. I want to see Outlier in 2023 and 2024. I want to see you laying down barrels and aging. I want to see how that progresses. You know, I'm I'm yeah. so... Because when you've got a base run that good, and it is really good, I, I'm intrigued to see how that pans out with aging, with what else comes we haven't even talked about the flipping schnapps really let's be honest uh, the schnapps is cool the give us a close up Katie. i'm going to try this week give us a close if you got the schnapps right there hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna put you on the big screen oh hang on uh so katie's I'll on the big screen <laughs> right there we go this is the most commercially stupid product anybody could ever make um <laughs> other way other way there we go there you go Hedge fund. It's um, 40, 45 percent wild it's berry schnapps. It's proper sort of Black Forest style Germanic schnapps. It um, makes an amazing sour. Or you can just put it in the fridge and drink it like I do. Wow. It's, um, okay. It's good gear. Cool. Okay. So on that note, lads, thank you. We will chat more. Hey, thank, you. Because, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody. We really thanks, enjoyed everyone. this. Uh, we would, we were, most of us will sit 100% see both of you at Manchester Run Festival yeah, next year. Will, yeah. But, but we're I, a few, I'm definitely coming over. And if I could drag anyone with me, we're definitely coming over late yeah, January, nice. maybe early February. Yeah, it'd be great. We'll, 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 we'll um, roll out the record. And not just that, we go to the top of a mountain, a literal mountain. If it was four okay. double decker buses shorter, it wouldn't be a mountain. Yeah. But it is. Right. So there we go. And <laughs> Petroleum for Christmas. Yeah, Petroleum. Ian, Ian and Rick, a quick two lines because Tom's asked me what the hell that so is. Petroleum is, um, is high strength single distilled rum uh, designed to burn on your Christmas pudding and you get a proper fucking flame. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right. So, Tom, like that's it. for you. Yeah, no, if, you've got, if you've got like. Tint, you so, know, artistic hanging herbs above your dinner table. Do not use it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, hang on. Basically, last last quote, last comment of the night. Basically, what Steve means, he's coming regardless. No way am I being associated with this lot anywhere I go. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially from this lad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, mate he, he, it's, it's, just, it's, pro it's proper gear, mate, and it, but it's smooth. It's smooth as anything. He, basically, he wanted to come to Rumfest with a case of Coke. Because that... <laughs> I, I don't mean cans of Coke. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he probably would have done a rule-win trade. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I, I'm going to put myself big screen just to uh, just to sign off. Uh, thank you so... Oh, he says put myself big screen. There we go. Thank you, everyone, so much for coming on tonight. Three hours. It's a whopper of a show. Uh, Ian and Rick, thank you. Katie, thank you for coming on as well, just at the tail end there. Um, honestly, I'm, I, I, love, I fell in love with these when I first tasted it. I thought it was a great, great product. Uh, the Hurricane is a great product. I love drinking that neat. It now it realising it's actually column still and not pot still um, kind of resonates why I love it so much. But yeah, you've not heard the last of these guys. We're going to keep tracking them. Uh, we're going to do a lot more than, with them in 2023. Uh, but everyone now, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to sign off. It's 11 o'clock. It's past my bedtime. Thank you, everyone. Ian, Rick, legends. I'll chat to you in the morning. Katie, thank you. Cheers, darling. Cheers, uh, guys. Dan, thank you for, let Dan, thank you for letting her come back on. Uh, <laughs> and we will see you. Um, we'll see you sometime soon. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah.